Two. Hello, hello, H3 Podcast Live. It is Monday, February 21st. Four days until Elden Ring comes out. That's right. Planning on being sick next week. No, I'm just kidding. Same. It's a video game we've been waiting to play. Sorry, guys. It's not just a video game. Let's, it's so much more. It's more than that. than that. We've been waiting years for this. <laughs> um, guys, welcome. We've got such a good show. Lots of actually really good topics for a change. Who's uh, bringing us? Oh, this and episode? brought to you by uh, HelloFresh. A quick thank you to HelloFresh. While you sort out your 2022 budget, think about this. You can save 72% on restaurant-quality meals with HelloFresh. And you don't even need to hit the grocery store. Get 16 free meals plus three gifts with code H3TV16 at HelloFresh.com slash H3TV16. And you can make uh, this gorgeous, gorgeous burrito and much, much more. Also, a shout out to uh, this awesome shirt that I love that just dropped on teddyfresh.com. I would rather go to hell than to work. Who hasn't had days like that? Not here, obviously. Never. I would never feel that Very way. Very soon this. you go to hell. That's right. Yeah, but, but I've had jobs where I did feel like that, you know? Mm. But yes. none of you guys feel that way, do you? Oh, never. No. Not a million. I feel that way about training, but not about work. About training? <laughs> you did that to yourself, bro. That really? bad? How's the training going? Uh, Are you it's, hating it's it? It's good. I mean, it, it's, it's a lot. But You're shredded. I Get in there. Slowly yet surely. What are you talking about? You just posted a thirst trap <laughs> with a six pack. Why are you downplaying that? Yeah, I know. I mean, I feel a lot better, but uh, I don't know. Sparring five days a week is a lot. You have very little free time? Yeah. Yeah, that, su- that sucks, right? Big time. Hmm. Box me, bitch. <laughs> well, I hope you at least win your fight. Thank you, know? you. I'm excited when the fight comes up that we could all we, we can place bets and stuff. I want to bet on AB. Mm-hmm. Let's see, maybe. <laughs> Good luck with that. Maybe. No, I didn't say to win. <laughs> yeah, well, you get offended. Yeah, I just said I want to place you? the bet. No, I won't be offended. <laughs> okay. That's good. That'd be some good content either way. I got big money on him. I know he's going to win. How much you putting on him, Zach? I'm going to put $500 that he's going to win. Wow. That's a true friend right yeah. there. That, that's, that's belief. Appreciate you, I, I really believe in Actually, him. you know what? I'll put 500 on it, too. I think it, then we are really rooting for you. Yeah. And then when you lose and you come in, we're just going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking you hate lost you. us money, you <laughs> fuck. <laughs> now you're really going to have to box. <laughs> um, at least... Some of us should go, right? I know it's in, it's in Florida, probably. I don't well, know we're gonna that's... be. Well, we should stream it live. Or well, that's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> you get sued by iDubs. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, well, we should live react to the dang thing. <clears throat> we can't do that. It's a pay per view event. Yeah. <clears throat> um, one of us should go. Yeah. yeah. Lena, Doki. Lena. <laughs> well, yeah. she'll be there anyway, right? Uh, yeah. Well, actually, she has to work, so uh, she can't go. <laughs> uh, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Guys, how's everyone doing today? Get hyped. Chilling, dude. No sleep, gang. Let's go. No sleep again, huh? No sleep ever, bro. I was up with Bruce all night. Mixing a little Theodore. Mm-hmm. I did watch in between. I watched the new episode of Euphoria, which was good. And I watched. What else did I watch? You're asking me? Tag on Titan? Oh, I didn't watch that. Oh. Fuck. Okay, who cares? Just watch this. Uh, This girl, she's made animations for us before, and they're always so good, man. Uh, oh right, the one thing I watched I can't talk about. I got a pr- I got a screener uh, for something that was real interesting. Mm. I got a scene. <laughs> God bless you, child. Oh, thank you. Papa bless. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Sora. This girl is such a talent. 
She's so incredible. Check this out. You. you know what I mean? It's like nobody cared. Nobody's sad for you guys being not as tall. See, this is what I mean. Nobody cares about us tall boys. Yeah. And nobody they should it. It's messed up. It's <laughs> fucked up. Being tall is some bullshit. It's like I'm, some bullshit. I'm it's signing like, with Ryan Kavanaugh. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucker. How tall is he? Let me Ryan Kavanaugh's a manlet. What's yeah. Harvey Weinstein's height? There's lots of pictures of them together. Good question. Harvey Weinstein. Ooh. Oh, so Harvey Weinstein was apparently six foot. Okay. So if you so if you Google Harvey Weinstein Ryan Kavanaugh, this is a really good experiment because <laughs> there there is a lot of images of them standing next to each other. Yeah. Actually, you know he what? Kind of looks he, like he, Harvey Weinstein. That's what. That's what I've no been way. saying, bro. <laughs> Does Hopsville. Ryan Kavanaugh look like HarveyWeinstein.com? <laughs> what the fuck? You know that's my website, right? That's <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> We made that website to help the public. <laughs> <laughs> this is to help people like you. <laughs> this is a public service. Did no. you really not know that was our website? No. That's so awesome. <laughs> Dude, I love her. Amazing. Okay, first of all, I am not that small, okay? I am like a 5'11", bordering on six foot tall. I think it's more about how big he is. Uh, I like how you progressively are like shrinking yeah. throughout the entire thing. Okay, though. just for the record. And I did notice, by the way, um, sorry, Sora, if that is your real name. There, my hands are looking pretty dainty in this as well, which I am just not okay with, okay? <laughs> for the record. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. That was such a great moment from the show. Yeah. So check her out, man. Uh, I guess I'll put a link in the description. Sorry, Sora, though. She, she's so oh, yeah. Tall. I'll uh, I'll add that right now. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's awesome, man. This was this was like the big one she made. Of back. Just because I have bad back when uh, this was a thing. Eating habits doesn't mean you can eat liquors for breakfast. I can't wait to see who dies first. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> stupid. So how was your weekend? I never know if you hate or like me, like, genuinely. I genuinely don't care like about you, don't. but that's what I'm saying. I'm indifferent to you. Like, I don't think about you outside of this. Like, I think it's cool because, like, oh, you have, like, your own thing going and I have my own thing going, so it's cool we do, like, this yeah. collab. But I don't think about you outside of this, ever. I just indifferent. I'm gutted. <laughs> yeah, it's all it's all great. So shouts out. Um, gonna give a little shout out to her there, at the top. A lot to get to, man. I gotta say, I feel like David Dobrik's empire is falling before our eyes. It seems like he got away with it all, but I'm not sure he did get away with it. The cracks are starting to come through. Uh, don't worry, I'm not throwing it to you yet, A.B. David, or Jeff Wittick, as you guys know, who he slammed into an excavator, nearly killing him, and uh, ruining vision in his eye, unfollowed him on Instagram, and put out a video on Patreon, which A.B. is currently screening, where, he's, where he goes mask off. Mask Dubrick? off on David. Mask off. Dubrick? So, we're going to watch that, but AB's... We actually had to subscribe to um, Jeff's Patreon twice. <laughs> yeah, so, that's 30 bucks. So, you're welcome, Jeff. You're very welcome, Jeff. I got to tell you, I feel more and more bad for Jeff as time goes on. Do you, do you, don't, you don't feel those, share those feelings, Dan? Uh, I, I, I feel mixed about it. I, I mean, I do. I, I feel for him in the sense that, I mean, his injury is horrific. <clears throat> and he apparently is, just had his ninth surgery for it. Um, so I definitely, you know, feel some empathy for having to go through that. Um, and yeah, I mean, over time, and it's, this is, is going to become clear in what he says in this video from, uh, from what I understand. But... It seems like his most egregious uh, things that really pissed me off when that whole situation was going down was in an effort to 
protect help David to help David, who I think he, you know, genuinely thought was his friend. Yeah. Um, it, whether or not that was misguided, which you know, I'd love to. I'd love to hear him now, because I wonder if he's willing to be more upfront about like that whole night, and and, and, and for example, or because he just he really screwed himself by by covering for David. His yeah. story made no sense. Exactly right. And, I mean, that said, separate from all of that, I, I don't know, you know, that, that's the whole excavator situation that is one thing. Um, the situation that happened with Dom and his handling of that when he came on our show. Now, he was super fucked up in the aftermath of that accident when he came on our show and apparently on a bunch of painkillers and stuff, which could explain some of the weirder moments that happened in all of that. Um, you know, you infamously confronted him with those photos of placing him in a place that he was vehemently denying being at. Uh, I don't know if he was lying. I don't know if he was just confused. It was a long time ago. He was on a lot of drugs, um, pharmaceutical drugs. Ago. When did all of that go down? Like it was, 20... like, a f it was like two years ago, no? At the time we interviewed him. Uh, right. And can you recall every detail of... Every shoot that you did two years ago? Probably not. I'm not trying to excuse it. it what I'm trying to actually say is, is separating those two. In, you know, I can feel sympathy for what happened to him with the excavator, but still hold him. In well, that's what, I, what I'm saying. There's still a path to redemption for Jeff because as he's, he's in a cult, as he breaks from the cult, he can be honest about the stuff he was involved in. Right. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're we're currently in his cameo. This we've gotten we've just bought our fifth uh, membership because <laughs> AB keeps getting logged out. <laughs> AB bought it one time, and then he got a new phone, so he apparently doesn't have service on it yet, and he wasn't able to get the confirmation. So we bought it on another membership, <laughs> <clears throat> and that one is currently working, but stand by for to get logged out. What phone did you get? I got the 13 Pro Max. Is that the one with like eight cameras? Oh wait, no, that's the wait. Samsung actually, isn't it? Oh, that's not the iPhone. No, it's an iPhone. iPhone 13 Pro Max. Yeah. Why did a new iPhone just came out? I uh, know it's been out for a while, but Verizon said if I come back, they'll basically give it to me for free. And Lena's been wanting a new phone, oh. so I gave her my phone and took this. Verizon got you, huh? Yep. Have you seen this new Samsung phone? <clears throat> it's getting it's getting out of control. This that's is, five. That's six real. little d dots. <laughs> <clears throat> Why does it have so many cameras? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's probably they're probably pretty good at least. But yeah, it's just it's starting to look. It's starting cursed. to look like that tryptophobia. That's meme. exactly yes. There's too many dots. I had the same thought. It's creeping me out, dude. <laughs> it is. It's creepy. There's something off about it. Give me some trauma. Yeah. So, That's horrific. Yeah. So at least it doesn't look like that. The new iPhone. Someday it's just going to be all lined with cameras. About 30 cameras <laughs> on the back. Just the whole back. It's alive! <laughs> yes. Uh, so, oh, here we go. Here's a, here you go. Here's, this is actually a glimpse into the future of tech. It looks like a bubble wrapping. Anyone? Any laughter? Is this a meme or is that real? That is it's hard uh, to tell these days. Considering. <laughs> no, I know. Okay. <laughs> I Thanks said bubble that. wrapping. I said it looks like bubble wrap. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> it's actually real. Hold no, on. it's not. Is that real? Mm, I think so. Why would that be real? It's called the L16 camera. I'm not sure if it's real for me. Too much laughter, Dan. They're just, it's so fucking funny. What do you Too think? much. Dad? Just too much. Just how, just uh, how do the lenses overlap? Uh, love, is this real? I'm trying to find out for sure, but the article makes it seem like it's real unless it's that. <laughs> how can that be real? <laughs> They're overlapping. It's not even a good Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> really? Look at this. They're touch. They're like the plastic is like overlapping. <laughs> All right. 
<clears throat> Looks like bubble wrapping though, doesn't it? <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> Zach is so upset. Look at him. <laughs> it's all about timing, Dan. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Jesus. <laughs> Dan, what happened? Is there a little resentment towards me? Dan? Yeah, what was that? Resentment towards you? Yeah. Are, like, you're the one who's pouting over there. I'm not pouting. Why are you yes, you are. Bitch? Wait, what, why is Zach pouting? Why am I pouting? Because I, I have a little soundboard over here, and I played the laughing, and he... Feels like I'm stepping on his toes is what I'm Not thinking. at all. I'm um, really. I'm trying to help you. Mm, okay. You, got, you don't gotta call Wait, me. Wait, what happened? What happened with the sound bites that I'm missing? Did Zach do something? No, I just played the laughter a minute ago. Yeah, and what did Zach do that w was pouting? He 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 wanted the audience to know that he wasn't the one that was doing the laughter. Right, that it exactly. Was oh, is that true, Zach? Yeah, Dan's got a little generic soundboard. So are like, you <laughs> saying that, that that level of sound is beneath you? No, no, no. Like, I'll play laughter and stuff, but, like, it was a little overkill. Yeah, it was overkill. Yeah. I was perfect, because he was doing you got, a shtick where call he, me was, he was asking for... Well, you kind of act I feel a little bit like... He's, he's an artist. He wants, to, yeah. know, he wants to make sure he has a reputation. So here is something Love sent me. This is the camera. Apparently it's real. Yep. Where's the photo of it being real? Oh, oh, that does appear to be <laughs> the fight. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> I told you, dude. Dude, what the fuck? No, no, no. You better find me a better picture than this. What do you mean? It's the I want a head-on shot. I don't. This, this is too insane. I like extraordinary claims. Okay, extraordinary evidence. Show me, show me a better photo. Bro, we can't play it. It's cursed. <laughs> that was the initial one. The initial one was front, and you said it was fake. Okay, wait. Wait, this is Bruh, not real. I would never send anything fake. Wait, stop, stop, stop. This is Check not a real phone. Oh, this is Adorama. I mean, this is a real retailer. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's another link. <laughs> Hold on. This can't be real. Shad has my back. Hold on. What the heck? <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Dude, why is this a thing, bro? <laughs> we just got, We just got owned. <laughs> No, you know no. what? I apologize, love. I thought Thank Cam you. photoshopped this as yeah. a laugh. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was the same too, man. I had no no fucking way. <laughs> I am we so sorry, love. It's fine. But why did they do this? Why have they done this? <laughs> why? Why? I'm serious. Why have they done this? I'm sure there's someone that needs this. <laughs> really? Someone. What, a fly? Because they have a bunch of eyes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not the speak speak person. Oh, for okay. These, now is this these... real? Yeah, this one's real too. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> I can't tell what's real and what's fake anymore with these phones. Dude, I'm freaking scared. What? <laughs> Wait, but that looks as real as this one. Uh, That's yeah, the problem. This one is real. No, this one isn't real. Cam but it looks the same as the. It's as crazy real. as the other one. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like a case, probably right. No, I think Cam just photoshopped this. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. But wait, what, can you read the specs? Like, why does it need four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, lenses? They stopped selling it for some reason, so... It says 16 lenses. <laughs> it says <laughs> digital camera with 16 lenses. Why? So the original page, the people who were selling this, is taken down. So they're not selling it anymore. But it was on Adorama. Yeah, you could buy yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah. I think that's used. Oh. So yeah. here, 16 lenses, baby. Can we buy this? <laughs> I want to buy it. This is a this is a <laughs> relic, man. Yeah, can you buy one I'm of these? I'm dead serious. We should buy it and let Sam put it in resin. And preserve it. Oh, that's yeah. such a good idea. <laughs> it's like a... Yeah, we should do that. I found a, a review from 2018. Yeah, read uh, it. They're actually saying... It's a fantastic piece of technology. Futuristic. It has 16 lenses. It's an engineering marvel. <laughs> it takes 16 different smartphone sized so imaging it, modules. And then it combines them to create like a, a giant, you know, super it's high. It's 14 pages. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. I don't want it. I hate it.
It's 14 pages. I mean, it better be a good picture. Yeah, what is nonsense. this? This is not. It, they're just randomly placed. There's no way that those are strategically placed. And they say it is. That's I mean, a bullshit. Look at the left. They're not even aligned. Yeah. They just like strange. drift randomly. This was made by like Homer. You remember when Homer designed that sports car that bankrupted his brother's company? <laughs> That's what this camera oh, yeah. is. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Somebody's, somebody's kid designed somebody's this. Somebody's dumb brother office. made this. And, and they bankrupt the company. They were, they're out of yeah, business. Evidently. Oh. Damn. Tragic. Wow. I, th I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm staying on this, but I just can't believe this is real. We should buy it. I had you, yeah, buy one of these. I, I'm, I need <laughs> to know. What are we going to do with it? Why are we buying I it? I need to know what a 16 lens camera it's looks like. It's $1,000 on eBay. We should buy it and use it as, as our main camera. <laughs> Go to lens uh, 7, please. Yeah. <laughs> 51 megapixel. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a lot of megapixels. Well, it has 16 pages. All right. On page 14. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough. We have so much to get to. So hopelessly... Behind. What is this COD dance? Is this good? I have to download it. I can't stream it from that link. What? Uh, is, uh, yeah. Right oh. underneath is a link to okay. the original post. It's just backed up. All right. We've got the uh, Call of Duty mobile. Oh, this is an ad. TikTok ads are so out of control, man. I know I'm going to love this. <laughs> Call of Duty mobile dance tutorial. Zoom out a little bit. I can't. i got to full screen it. Are you serious, bro? <laughs> Call of Duty Mobile Dance Tutorial. So you want to try it? Why have we done? You watch the tutorial. You want to? It's not. It's not the <laughs> Call of Duty dance. It's the Call of Duty Mobile Dance yeah, yeah, yeah. Tutorial. Okay, yeah, let's give it a shot. The school shooter. Like now, shoot up your school. <laughs> Look at the bodies. Throw the grenade into the movie theater. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, what are you doing? Dance tutorial. I hate this so much. <laughs> Sorry, but no, we don't love it. By the way, just think like if you could show this to someone during World War II who's just coming out of like a, a gruesome war, they were PTSD'd, shell shocked, and then you'd be like, hey, yeah, anyway, um, here's what we've been up to. <laughs> Here's what we've been up to. War is awesome. War is great. We love war. Fun. Dancing. Call of Duty Good mobile times. Dance. Call of Duty mobile dance tutorial. They're like, I, I've lost everything. <laughs> da -na. War is fun. We Fortnite. love we love war. Can you imagine? Wow, that's the worst thing I've seen, man. <laughs> that's horrifying. Who is this kid? <sighs> oh, I've seen a lot of bad TikTok ads, dude. It's crazy. I don't know where they're even gener like where'd you find this guy? Why him? It has 700 likes. <laughs> I just... <laughs> yeah, good shit. Uh, we got some quartering memes. You know that's going to be good. Man has four claw machines in his house. Does he? He's such a fucking weirdo, dude. Hey there, I'm Jeremy, and you've come to that part of YouTube where you might be wondering how the heck you got here. Together with my beautiful- So wait, is you've this- You've never seen this before? This is before he started grifting. Before he was banned from uh, magic tournaments, before he was- uh, Okay. Before it all. Before his villain origin story. He was right. just a simple claw machine before reviewer. Before he was rejected <laughs> in, the f in the seventh grade and, and went on a rampage against all women- yeah, so the quartering before he went on a right-wing grifting rampage, he was trying to be like a carnival games gamer. I mean, this dude is... 
<sighs> okay, just watch. Hey there, I'm Jeremy, and you just stop. Oh my God, he's a he's came being out. serious. He he hit us with the hey there. Oh yeah, no, I, I've seen this video in the past when we were looking hey up there. quartering stuff, and uh, it's like a different different guy, whole different vibe. Hey there, have you heard about white replacement theory? <laughs> Poor. Hey there, I'm Jeremy, and you've come to that part of YouTube where you might be wondering how the heck you got here. Together with my beautiful wife and our best friend Brandon, we're about as let's go, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> obsessed with the arcade as anyone, specifically claw machines. So obsessed Watch with that rot. that we've already bought four different machines and have them in our houses. Well, we're Who, have is them this in for our kids? Houses. He's making this for 12 year olds. It sure seems We like have it, yeah. claws in our houses. Would you like to come over and play sometime? We also have candy. And you can sleep over too. We're not playing at home. We record our journeys as we travel across the country trying to win as many prizes as humanly possible. We'll also show you how these machines work, what to look for, and how to win. And while we're not clawing, we're going to show you how to win massive tickets at a ton of different arcade games so you can get that super sweet loot that you... Super sweet loot. See, I wish he went down this road. You know? That's more wholesome. It's quality content. Yeah. More pedo vibes, honestly, than wholesome. <laughs> no, no, I'm not getting wholesome. No, no, no. Well, knowing what we know about him now. Right, right, right. You know, he's not exactly Mr. Rogers, is he? <laughs> you don't want to be his neighbor. No. Want? Need another reason to subscribe? We also do giveaways. And we'll ship the prizes anywhere in the world. If you see us winning on this channel, we're probably going to give it away. Go ahead, become part of the Claw Struck crew and get notified Claw each and every time we upload yeah, that's a his new channel, super fun so, video by uh, crushing that subscribe button today. Crushing it? I'm already taking my pants off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, he was still posting on Claw Struck as of uh, a year ago. Well, wait, whoa, whoa, do most expensive teddy bear in history? I think that's his wife. I've never seen what she looks like. I mean, not, I'm not judging her looks. I just want to know who is this woman who is spending, who decided to spend her life with Jeremy. It's from 2017. This thing of a jig is just hanging out here. Plus, Shave doesn't want to leave it. Nice camera work, dude. I see you. Does this have 16 frames or 16 lenses on it? He wishes. <laughs> Not much. Seems okay, like I mean, really it's just a vlog. Just simple, wholesome content, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, it's just a vlog about a hobby they have. I think that's 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 great. His wife seems nice and normal, from what I can tell. Go back to this, dude. You were doing well. Look, it had over 100k subscribers had on this all. channel. He had it all. Yeah. No, well, if it wasn't for immigrants trying to replace white people, maybe he wouldn't have to have made <laughs> made the quartering. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Women are amazing, aren't they? Like we truly just date. Like the fact that there's a woman out there for Jeremy is just—it's just a beautiful story. Yeah, like that's, it, a, that's a positive spin you could put on it. Like women are just amazing. Like you, <laughs> this woman presumably. She touches him. Like, that's just, that blows my mind. <laughs> we love women, don't we, folks? <laughs> They're incredible. Oh. We will love a woman. Shout out to Jeremy's wife. She seems like a nice lady. Shout out. Will you do something about Jeremy, please? Rain his ass in or something, <laughs> man. You seem, you seem well, good. Well, she's been trying. That's why she goes out for pizza without him when he's acting yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. The man pisses in his basement. It's time to whip him into shape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh, women, 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 women. <laughs> okay, so we've been, I, I've been told not to watch this one. Jordan Peterson, friend of the show, idol. Where's the bust? We, I, I love the man so much, we even have a bust of him. He wrote, is this a rap song or like a spoken word? So Jordan Peterson made a song about Justin Trudeau. Um, it was uh, Justin Trudeau has been causing quite a bit of toxic masculinity. <laughs> what a horrible phrase that is! Toxic masculinity. 
What's so horrible about wanting to spit in my wife's eyes <laughs> during sex? After we watch this, Zach, do you want to drop your Jordan rap that you were doing earlier? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Zach, Zach uh, came What's going on with Justin Trudeau? He's like, eh, I know there's like... They're getting sick and tired of these fucking truckers blocking all of the trade routes from the U.S. to Canada, and so they're starting to arrest them all. And so they used an emergency power thing that uh, apparently has been around in Canada since the 80s, but this is the first time anybody's actually invoked it. It's basically like a martial law kind of thing. Yeah to uh, arrest them and get them out of the way. And so a lot of people are saying he's basically Hitler for doing that. Elon Musk actually did. Elon Musk, man, this guy is such a piece of shit. I'm so over him. I'm like, I don't think I'll ever get another Tesla again. I mean, I have one on lease currently, so. <laughs> but that was before. Full disclosure. But I, I don't think I'll get another Tesla. Like, he's that, he is that disgusting. He posted this. Uh, <clears throat> and then erased it, I guess. But like, he says, "Stop comparing me, a picture of Hitler, to Justin Trudeau. I had a budget." Adolf Hitler. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's both saying Justin Trudeau is Hitler, and also saying Hitler is. He's saying if Hitler's Justin Trudeau, he's not that bad of a guy. Let's be honest. He's kind of defending Hitler here in a way. <laughs> also. It's just factually incorrect. Like, Nazi Germany ran a giant fucking deficit. Like, they ran the economy into the fucking ground. Because the whole idea was, we'll just conquer our neighbors and take their money. <clears> well, they had millions of slaves. That helps. Yeah, that helps, too. <laughs> so. It's pretty, it's pretty convenient to grow your economy when you have slaves doing everything <laughs> that you don't even provide food or shelter for. It's awesome. Definitely helps. Uh, what the fuck, bro? Elon Musk, you're such a piece of shit, dude. Fuck you. He's 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 memeing too close to the sun here. Mm -hmm. I'm out. I liked Elon Musk before he joined Twitter. God, what? Why would you tweet this? What is even the comparison to Justin Trudeau? He just wants the truckers gone. I mean, what am I missing? What, uh, has, has he killed anyone? Has he, has he uh, invaded a neighboring country? What has he done? Has he? He arrested some protesters, which, you know, you can discuss that on the merits. Maybe that is bad, but um, but that's not. <clears throat> has did he murder them? Did he yeah, systematically not, kill them? White rising based to on racial the level of Nazi Germany. Not quite. Bigotry. Not yet. But it's a slippery slope, man. It starts with it starts with the. Uh, Arresting uh, a bunch of hogs and pickup trucks, and uh, next thing you know, you got camps. Didn't I heard something about he's freezing their bank accounts? Is that true? Well, not the individuals, but the organizations that were uh, funding it. They uh, oh, okay. got the banks to shut it down or something. And they had already, they were originally doing like GoFundMe shit, and I think GoFundMe shut them down. And so then they tried to switch to crypto. Uh, funding somehow, and I guess they're also blocking that, so yeah. By the way, I saw <laughs> that Jordan Peterson is speaking at some crypto con. Yeah, the Bitcoin conference. The Bitcoin con. It's like, what the fuck does he have to do with Bitcoin? Why is this being co-opted by conservatives? <laughs> I even, well, <clears throat> some would argue it's always been a conservative movement, but, uh, it's or at least a libertarian it? movement, but, um... Okay, liber... Okay. Yeah, but, um... Yeah, regardless, I, I actually saw on the um, the reactions to it on the main, like, big, like our Bitcoin on Reddit, and even they were like, what the fuck is this guy doing here? He like, not, not, doesn't know anything about crypto. No. I've never seen him talk about crypto before. Apparently, he started to get on it very recently, but that was the kind of comments I was seeing. It was like, why are they having a dude who understood what Bitcoin was like two weeks ago as like a keynote Yeah, he speaker. understood it when he got a lucrative job off uh, speaking offer. Yeah. Oh, I like crypto. By the way, guys, I have officially decided to stop working with crypto companies. Right? Sorry, what'd you say? I was reading something. We have, I have officially decided to stop working with crypto companies. That is true. That is true. You know, in the past, I feel like I knew I didn't. But I feel like I've come to the decision 
that I think cryptos is a basically a giant Ponzi scheme. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's basically a giant scam. What am I going to do? And one of the hugest brokers was trying to do a deal with us, and it breaks my heart to tell you that we passed on it. Uh, it was so much money, you guys. It was so huge. <laughs> and it's, it's pain, it hurts. It's painful. <laughs> but it is a scam. And uh, get your money out while you can. <laughs> anyway, let's watch. <clears throat> I just want to give as much background as possible here. Oh, dude, what the fuck is this? You better fucking stop this shit right now, dude. Wake up. Okay, Jordan. <laughs> this is pretty uh, avant-garde here. Let me go back because I wasn't quite registering. What the fuck was that? This is, this is <laughs> unredeemably the worst thing I've ever heard. What is this? I, when I first saw it, I said to the guys that it's like the, like the song they'll play while they're brainwashing you in Clockwork Orange. It's just like pounding right. in your fucking skull. It's I like get Pink, it now. It's like Pink Floyd propaganda. <laughs> yeah. I get it now. <laughs> I just went straight to the comments. Professor Peterson, you have an army of people that support you. Keep going. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Where would we be without my cold of lobsters? We're coming to the government building. <laughs> okay, let me just, I got to focus. Now you're on your own. You should be acting well. You should climb off your throne and see what you've been shown. This is going somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a total. It's Pink Floyd, like Pink Floyd. Uh, the wall. Is that Roger the... <laughs> Waters on there? <laughs> oh my God, though, it's like it's like Pink Floyd pro fascism. Right, yeah. it's embrace. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the opposite it's, it's of what they are. Open Floyd. Like yeah. demos from the wall. <laughs> you should be reading the twelve rules. <laughs> you should be buying busts of my face. <laughs> Only two hundred dollars today. I'm not a cult leader. I just sell busts of my face for 300 bucks. <laughs> Shipping not included. Uh, he doesn't sell them himself. Either. He promoted it. He, he only so he's, def he's definitely getting a, he's getting a piece of the, of the guacamole. He claimed he didn't. I don't know if that's... Bullshit. Yeah. Why would you promote that? Yeah. Liar. How dare you call me a liar, bucko? What are you up to, Ethan? Yeah, we're all going to die, like, in a horrific war. Why is this on Jordan's channel? Because this is his song. He wrote this, and he's singing in it. No, he's not singing. Yeah, look at, look at the, How look, is that look at the description. What? It's, it's multiple people singing. Composed by Jordan? How did you compose this? You and, don't know anything about And his about. good friend... Scotch Tully. <laughs> Don't you tell me you composed this. Lyrics by Jordan B. Peterson. Voices. Sonia Tully, Tammy Peterson, Scotch Tully, Jordan B. Peterson. I believe Tammy Peterson is his wife. Wake up. Dedicated under the current unfortunate conditions to the Prime Minister of Canada, the Right Honorable Justin Trudeau. 
Yeah. Man, he's so desperate to be a victim. It's like it's like the biggest inconvenience is the Holocaust these days. Maybe you should just go to sleep. You, I wish you would go to sleep and leave us all the fuck alone. <laughs> Don't wake up. You know, it's funny because benzos make you sleep, right? They make you sleepy. I believe so. Yeah. So, more aptly called going to sleep. <laughs> Passing out and waking up in a strung out a bed in Russia <laughs> or like Serbia or something. Oh, right? was it? <laughs> Maybe it was Russia. That would be a way more interesting topic. Of I'd love to hear that. I mean, that's po- someday. Maybe we'll get the whole real story of what down with all that. Mm, his daughter will tell there, the story. Yeah. Let her tell it for him. Uh, I don't know if I trust her version mm. of the events. What? You don't trust her. <laughs> The woman who advocates for eating meat only? Why are they doing this? Dude, you're so sick in the fucking head to be showing these images. You're just talking about some MAGA truckers that will fuck... Why are you... I'm assuming this is like a concentration camp. Choose a side. (laughs) Yeah. Dude, you're showing a starving child in a concentration camp, and you're just mad about some fucking truckers, bro, who are blocking interstate trade because they don't want to wear a mask, you idiot. Um, yeah, and uh, I mean, I apologize, like, to our Canadian viewers, I apologize if we're not summarizing the situation uh, completely accurately. Th- but- I depend on Dan for that. But I asked Dan, don't get mad at me. Get, get mad, mad at Dan. He's the one supposed to know this stuff. Get mad at me. Um, I don't think I said anything that inaccurate, though. I, I, I well, did look into that law that they invoked and everything. And it was the first time they've ever uh, used it. Maybe describing his martial law isn't quite accurate. Well, regardless, but, uh, if he's a douche or whatever, he's not Hitler, guys. Right, yeah. There's still a wide gap. But I don't know. Blame Dan. Don't get mad at me. Just what, just, Are people mad? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I was just saying, because I, you know, I'm just speaking off the dome and I'm not following this whole kerfuffle. Because you usually don't walk back like that. Uh, you walked it back a bit. I always, I always hedge my bets. <laughs> you do? <laughs> uh, anyways, the, um, the truckers, from what I understand, uh, the, the support for that um, protest has... Uh, waned significantly um, from already fairly low support and the truckers themselves that Get are in, protesting the, the vaccine mandates and everything so, something like 80% of Canadian truckers are vaccinated um, so the, the slice of people protesting aren't necessarily representative of, I uh, said get in loser <laughs> we're unvaxxed and ready to fuck <laughs> Let the peasants die of COVID. We've got we've got Regeneron. These they feel so self important, especially Jordan. You could say like Joe Rogan and Elon Musk have achieved things. Jordan has such a fucking self. Look how self important he looks right there. Like what have you done except be a dick? Like, these guys are trailblazers, at least, so much as I dislike them. 83 to 87% of truckers in Canada are vaccinated. So that kind of gives you an idea of... Yeah. What's and really I, what, there's there. lots of... Okay, whatever. Let's just... Yeah, let's go. Literally, Hitler... Wow, look at that, dude, what a transition. Windows Movie Maker, 2005. For sure, dude. Get out your lighters, everyone. Get them in the air. Wailing. I don't even know what they're showing. It's a girl with a cigarette and a crow on her shoulder. What am I supposed to take from this? Genuinely. White heritage. That's what it seems like, right? Definitely what it is. So Jordan actually reached out to me to play the solo on this. 
So that, that, oh shit, that's you? Yeah, that's me shredding. Oh, no wonder. Yeah. No wonder I was vibing with that. Did you tell them you're Jewish? Because they just did like a whole white heritage thing. <laughs> Changed my last name. To Wait, Burns. are you serious? Is this a white heritage thing? Oh, I, I was just no, I don't. But know. like, what the fuck else is it? I, I don't know. This whole thing was just baffling. I couldn't believe it was real. That is not Jordan singing. Well, there's again four vocalists are credited, uh, so I don't know. Um, where Jordan is and where uh, his uh, w w Scotch Tully or whatever the f the weirdest name ever. Oh, I can hear him in there a bit. It's just. It I hate it. it sh they should be embarrassed, but. They're not. And the people watching like it. I think it'd be cool if you did like a rap song. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It'd be way better. The Al some by the way, <laughs> the Auschwitz Museum came on top of, uh, came to dunk on Elon Musk. He's suing them for defamation. No. No. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> he would though. <laughs> I'm suing the Auschwitz Memorial Center. <laughs> They said, using the image of Adolf Hitler and therefore exploiting the tragedy of all people who suffered were humiliated, tortured, and murdered by a totalitarian regime of Nazi Germany created by him is sad and disturbing. It disrespects the memory of all victims and hurts many people. Yeah, he's right. Canada sanctions 34 crypto wallets tied to trucker freedom convoy. Right, there you go. That's what I was referencing with the crypto stuff. Where does he even get this? Like, where did he get this meme? Facebook? Like, what fucking... <laughs> just, Facebook. Yeah. I mean, it seems like a stupid boomer meme. It's just, you, you have to kind of be in like a really fucked up circle to even receive this meme. There you go. And I know it's like the least important part, but again, it just really annoyed... Hitler had a budget. He, he ran deficits. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like... It's just so stupid. It's just so stupid. That's your problem? Hitler did have a... Wait, Hitler didn't have a budget? No, right, he didn't... He had a budget. No, that he, what I'm saying is that they, they ran up massive deficits while he Got was it. in power. He was... They're, they're trying to imply, like... You think Canada has, has better finances? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. their whole economy isn't predicated on conquering or, their neighbors. Or basically all or nothing. Right. Take it all or, yeah. There you go, touche, moron. Got him. What else? What else? Uh, we should probably do our ads. We're uh, 45 minutes, actually. You know, it's exciting. We were getting, uh, yeah, we'll do our ads. But the pizza that Love's been going on and on about, the kebab pizza. Oiny, 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 oiny. About, yeah. It's on its way. We found a place. Mm-hmm. Do you, want to, do you want to say anything about it, love? I do want to say that they claim to have authentic Swedish pizza. Now, I'm very, very, very doubtful of that. They claim to have a what? Like, like an authentic okay. Swedish pizza. It's called like Viking Pizzeria or something. Right, so right. You know right. it's the real deal. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I saw the pictures. The pizzas themselves look like home. Uh, I saw the kebab. It looks somewhat similar. The sauce, though, didn't look exactly the same so i'm a bit on the fence on I that told him he had to call and speak to them in swedish to get the real kebab did you do sauce. that no i actually didn't but oh you have. should have done that that would have been so good <laughs> they hide that shit in the back that's not for americans that's only, that's for swedes only well nobody's looking for that pizza but swedes let's be honest nobody's looking out right. viking pizza that still puts kebab and fucking lettuce on their pizza like it's a lunatic <laughs> but i just want to warn everyone that it might not be authentic Okay, well, you'll let us know. Yeah, I'm ready for that. Cool. Well, I'm excited for that. That's coming up next uh, and so much more. But first, thank you to our sponsor, Honey. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Um, what do we got here? This is a recent set. I got a whole album of recent ones because uh, Ela's been going crazy. She's Just scroll through them because this is unbelievable. Yeah, this is real. 
Ela does our shopping. Obviously, she's buying furniture, food. Look at this one. This is 20, 2150 off a $140 purchase. 10%. So, yeah, that's fucking good. It's like so amazing. I can't emphasize how much I love honey and how much you need to have it installed. You don't even have to think about it, dude. Thanks to Honey, man <laughs> manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. It's Honey is free. It's a shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically applies the best one it finds to your cart. So you're shopping on your favorite site. When you check out, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons that it can find for that site. And if Honey finds a coupon, you're going to watch the price drop magically. Yeah, you've seen it. It saved us. It, at this point, it saved me and Ela thousands of dollars. It's it's ridiculous. From like bedding stuff, carpets, even food, video game, or like computer related stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, all these big retailers, they've got coupons floating around, and Honey brings it all home for you. Uh, it Honey doesn't just work on desktops now, it's also on your iPhone. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. So if you don't already have Honey, you're going to be straight up missing out on free money. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. I wouldn't recommend Honey if I didn't use it myself. I love it. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash h3tv. That's joinhoney.com slash h3tv. Thank you. And finally, thank you to Stamps. Time is money, people. Don't waste either with repeated trips to the post office. With Stamps.com, you can skip the trip and focus on how to take your small business to the next level. That's Stamps.com. Let you print official postage right from your computer, and it saves you money in the process so you can spend less time at the post office and more time making your customers happy. Your girlfriend uses Stamps, right, Dad? She does. She uh, For her online business, she sells her art, she sells prints and all that kind of stuff. Uh, skirts.com that's skirts with three that's Z's. good that you get to plug her when you do the <laughs> why not yeah um, but yeah she's been a customer for years and uh, I, I see how it all works and it, it really couldn't be more simple if you if you ship a lot of things it's a great service it is super convenient you're able to just print all the shipping labels straight from your computer and slap them on the package postman picks it up or drop it off at the post office whatever you want to do it's easy as could be it actually seems like a great service, and it's cheaper than going to the post office, too. Very much so, yeah. Kind of a no-brainer like that. It saves you time, money, and stress. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over a million businesses. Stamps.com gives you access to the post office and UPS shipping services you need right from your computer. And the discounts, let me tell you, you get 40% off USPS rates and 76% off UPS. Okay. Wow. Uh, whether you're an office sending invoices or a side hustle Etsy shop or full-blown warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com will make your life easier. All you need is a computer and standard printer, no special supplies or equipment. You're up and running in minutes. Printing official postage for any letter, any package, anywhere you want to send it. Stop overpaying for shipping with Stamps.com. Sign up at Stamps.com slash H3TV for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. There's no long-term commitment or contracts. Just head on over to Stamps.com slash H3TV. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Peace and love. Just found out. Big oh, announcement no at the next Astro World. No way. That's huge. Yep. He's the, and actually what I read is he's the only performing artist there. Yep. Everyone else can't. <laughs> um, he's headlining. Real quick, apparently um, uh, our boy Corbin donated $100 asking, Dan, we need to know what build you're going uh, in Elden Ring, which I Th think first applies of all, to both of us. Thank you. Yeah. Corbin. Corbin. Which makes you. me think of the fifth element. Corb Corbin Dallas. But thank you so much. Uh, what build? I don't know I don't anything know. about the game. Uh, well, I'm, I, I've purposely stayed in the dark for a decent amount of it. I have watched very little footage from all the, uh, the, those beta tests that came out and streamers were streaming the first chunk of the game. I'm trying to keep it pure. But usually when in all those games, I usually just do a, a standard like strength build the first Me too. time through. Strength build, 
magic's for pussies, dude. <laughs> you gotta go hard. You gotta go hard. I, I have heard that the magic is a lot more interesting in this one than it has been in the previous games. So I might. That's I might mess true. With that a little bit. Yeah. I just like being. I just like slamming, bambing stuff. Slam, bam. You Slam, know? bam. You Rolling, dodging. Pussies. Magic's too easy. It is. It it kind of nerfs the game a little bit in the previous ones, but I don't know if it'll be like that in this one. Maybe it. Maybe they've put more focus on it. All right. So here's Jeff's Patreon video. Once again, he cannot sue us. This is fair use, especially since he. Met, well, it doesn't matter, but he does mention me. He says fuck H three at eleven fifty. Cool. So shout out. So fuck you too, Jeff. <laughs> I'm glad you dumbass. Glad we took the time yeah. to try and be <laughs> sympathetic to him. Yeah. Okay, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, at least I didn't help cover up a girl R-worded. So, fuck me, but fuck you at the same time. You know? At least I didn't cover up for a friend that tried to kill me. Dubrick? <laughs> well, let's watch. Um, let's watch. Jeff Wittick. So this is the live stream where he basically goes masks off on David. He unfollowed him on Instagram. It's a full mask off moment here. And I was, when I first saw it, I was like, what happened to his eye? Because, like, I guess he just got his ninth eye surgery. Ninth out of ten, Golly. I believe. Out of, so there's another one There's another planned? one, yep. Jesus. They knew that there would be ten surgeries when they started? Initially, it? I don't think he knew that. Yeah. Hmm. Ugh. I feel bad for him, even though he says, fuck me. <laughs> I do. I yeah, feel I mean, like we could have been, we could have had an understanding, uh... If uh, our, path, our paths cross differently. You were always... Uh, I'm pro Jeff, what can I say? Yeah, you were always a little bit lighter on him. Than, I, try uh, to be, I try to be empathetic to the guy. Yeah. Even though I really hate people with one eye. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding around. <laughs> just giving him a hard time. We this love is, our we love our cyclophobia, dude. <laughs> we, love, we we love our people with one eye, don't we, folks? <laughs> I'm overcoming a deep phobia of people with one eye. He has two eyes. Come on. What to mean him like that? Oh, no. Are we good? L. Super high quality bad. stream, by the way. Fifteen dollars a month, guys. This could all be yours. <laughs> W if the stream is good. I don't even know who these goons are. And why does this guy have a band-aid over his eye? Is he just in solidarity or something? He said he's doing it as a social experiment to see what Jeff's going through so they could discuss it on oh, the podcast. That's so fucking interesting. Great. That's so interesting, dude. <laughs> I don't know how serious they were, but... That's so cool. He should write a book about that. N nothing now. It froze. <laughs> Oscar... Are we good? W, are we good? W, oh, hey, hey, 15 hey, bucks hey, a month, guys. Hey. W, w, oh, yeah, that's oh, right. There we go. Dubs in All chat, right. guys. All right. Go so clip I'm gonna, that. I'm going to repeat what I just said because I was talking, um, I guess, to nobody. This is Ryan here. This is where the man from Utah is a good friend. He's wearing a, a Band-Aid over his eye. He's been doing this for the last six hours to uh, <laughs> put himself in my shoes so he can feel how I feel. And it's, it's actually very nice of him. I don't want him to do it. I keep telling him to take it off because it's, like, disturbing. It, it, I don't want to see him go through pain for me. But it's also kind of funny that he's actually committed. I didn't think uh, – him and Stephen both decided to do it at the same time, but Stephen crapped out after what? Yeah, like, so anyway, uh, let's skip to the action because, let's face it, as compelling as this content is, uh, there's more uh, specific moments to watch. One at five minutes. So here we go. Remember, guys, uh, Jeff Wittick, Patreon. This call be yours for $15 a month. A little plug for him. And as he got close to us, we were like, whoa, whoa, get the fuck back, Stephen, because you hear it cracking. But as, he's packed on about 20 LBs ever since he made it big, and he's eating good. He's got a lot of money now. As David messaged you to see if you're okay. Nope. Not a text or nothing. Uh, not surprised, you know. It is what it is. But I'm done being fake friends with that motherfucker. So that that's hey, that's, can you? That's, uh, I actually, I genuinely feel bad. I mean, this guy is loyal. I would say loyal to a fault, right? Because he's like this, like, hey, I'm a criminal. We don't snitch on nobody. 
Hey, I, don't, I didn't see nothing about nobody. <laughs> what happened to the girl? I ain't know. I wasn't there. Oh, I was there? Oh, well, I don't know. I won't remember. I can't, this I don't see so good. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I got brain damage. What can I do? I don't remember nothing. I'm just, he's playing up his stuff for, so he can't recall to the police. But anyway, I genuinely feel bad for him because he's like loyal to a fault, to David. And uh, David doesn't give a shit about him. And he finally realized that he was used. He was almost killed. And the guy, he can't even check up on him. He has lifelong injuries. And it's like, Dude, he's he's just such a piece of shit. David Dobrik. <laughs> and Jeff tried so hard to like make good with him too, you know. He gave him every benefit of the doubt. He gave him so many chances and David still can't call him up and say how's the eye. That's it. That's all he wants. How's the eye? Uh, Take it out there. Stop it. Stop it. Um how much for the plate and the screw? Um, I'll, I'll do a giveaway, honestly. I don't know. Maybe when I get out of this. 625 the next moment. He's giving away a plate and screw out of his head? Kind of epic People souvenir. in the chat were asking for it. He was making a joke out of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, I don't know if that's legal. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. What's um, going on in here? You deserve much better. We want Steve. What a dickhead. What the fuck is wrong with David? Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. You know, that's how he is. And I tried enough to protect his image. And, you know, now I just don't give a fuck. I unfollow them on Instagram. Mostly because this shit sucks and I don't want to see it. But also. That's interesting to hear him finally say what we've all known. But none of them would speak out and say that they've been protecting him. They've all been protecting him. <laughs> Cam. What's funny? Sam, show me it. Oh, he's... Oh, well, that's, that's actually cool. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, of course, guts. Yeah. It's a good look. <laughs> he's part of the bossy. <laughs> the one I kick. Would that make David... Oh, David's Griffin. Yeah, I was just going to oh, say... Oh, he's totally Griffin. David is Griffin. Oh, wow. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> so because it pisses me off that he can't send the fucking text to be like, hey, I know your surgery was like 30%. Maybe you'll lose your eye or not. But um, nothing. You know, he promoted his vlog. <coughs> so I'm happy. I just wish to Jeff, like he's putting this behind a Patreon paywall. I wish he would just... Everyone just doesn't want to say it. Just just keep me out there and be like, fuck this guy. He ruined my life. He doesn't care about me. They just won't say it. And I well, think he, he had to have known that this would cause waves. Yeah, he mentions that it's probably going to be on Twitter. <coughs> also, he says he wants to talk about it more on the podcast. Okay, good. So. I hope he does. I hope he does. Because I think people need to just say it. Just own it. I mean, he's the first one who's actually saying it, which is good. I think they're just afraid of David's fans because there's a huge overlap. And then they'll be like, you're a fucking snake. You get that every time on the internet. Mm -hmm. You're a snake, bro. He only tried to kill you and then forgot you exist. How dare you? He also mentions, I mean, I believe it's that, but also that he's still close friends with a lot of other members of the Vlog Squad and doesn't want it to fall. Right, like when Scientology, you leave Scientology, you lose everyone right. turns against you. I think there might be a problem in your friend group, dude. Just saying. He promoted his fucking vlog. So yeah, Jeff's on a lot of drugs. How many drugs are you on right now? A lot. I feel like this is me on Frenemies again. Uh, uh, why didn't you read the article? I can't. My eyes don't work, motherfuckers. I wish I could have told them that back then. But I was protecting this motherfucker and this story and, and all this shit. Yeah, it's I'm us, getting man. too out of control here. Yeah, right? so Let's... we have <laughs> Nevin Kenzie over here. Kenzie made a really bomb. Wow, they cut him off. He wasn't getting out of control. It's good to hear you talk your mind. Why are you afraid to speak your mind, Jeff? 
if he would have just been honest with us at the time, yeah, maybe it would be you'd, you'd probably be looking really good out of that interview for actually being honest. What about an excavator? Yeah, I've seen an excavator with one eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about an excavator? I don't know nothing. Oh my god. Yeah, I used to work construction, so what? <laughs> He's uh what do they call it? Like Johnny Johnny Tight Lips. Uh, yeah, they call me Johnny Tight Lips. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing about nobody. <laughs> he thinks he's a mobster. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> Be like, Jeff, what, what'd you eat for lunch today? Who's asking? <laughs> Mind your own business. <laughs> Jeff, did you see your mom on the weekend? What? I, I, I didn't see nothing. The bottom line is you cannot be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mac and cheese. This is Nav. Oscar is, I think, six hours away. He drove up here. Um, if, you, if you freeze a Capri Sun, it's like a little slushy. Popsicle. Yeah, if you freeze a Capri Sun, it turns into a slushy. Anyway, David almost killed me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going a little off the rails. Cut to the Capri Sun. All right, now bring it back. It's a bitch that it gets. <laughs> All right, 11 minutes. He's back on he's back on the rails or back off the rails. Ever since the surgery. David's going to be trending on Twitter tonight. Who gives a fuck? No, he's not. His yeah. clout's over. He's done. It's washed up. Nobody cares. Oh, wow. Okay. Cares about him anymore. Um, but honestly, I do feel bad that like Wow. You know, I, I have so many other friends that are in between us that I don't want to lose, so take it easy, you know? Nobody's mad at them, dude. I just don't like it. You're literally describing a cult. But he's saying take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. We all go to, hey, we all going down together. You know what I'm saying? Loose lips sink ships, cabbage. <laughs> Come on. Treat all the bras like trash. <laughs> um, that was really mask off there. That was eye off there. Let's listen to that again. All right. Too much. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I've been biting my tongue. You gotta, you gotta chill. It's just comedy. I know. And it's making me laugh, but a little, a little insensitive. It's, it is insensitive. Stop laughing. That's why it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. I mean, it's fine. Who cares? I'm fat. He has one eye. We all have our disabilities. <laughs> oh Come on. It's not his fault. It isn't his fault. It's David's That's fault. That's the point. It's not his fault. He's doing his best to overcome. I think he's. I think it's heroic what he's going through. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm not saying he's a bad guy because he has one eye. I know you're not. I know you're not. It's not your Are people fault. angry at me? <laughs> Maybe. If no. I don't have the it's chat open. No. Let's just go with no. Why you say it like that? Because, yes, some people are. Oh, angry. they're mad at me? <laughs> I don't know how representative that is. Hmm. Well, guys, I mean, he does have one eye. Like, <laughs> that's a fact. Literally not a fact. He has two. But yeah, he has two eyes. You're right. So, you see, nothing. It's all loosey goosey. It's all jokes. <laughs> the man has two eyes. <laughs> Does, the joke is not even factually correct. Okay, Ethan, stop You're laughing. Funny. It's not funny. <laughs> it was actually his third eye that was crushed. <laughs> Good job, Zach. Thank you. All right, let's w listen to this again. Surgery. David's going to be trending on Twitter tonight. Who gives a fuck? No, he's not. His clout's yeah. over. He's done. It's washed up. Nobody cares about him anymore. Is that almost like there's no more juice to get from him, so now I'm going to expose him a little bit? He's washed up. 
Is he washed up? I mean, I feel like he's still got he, a big audience. Okay, so that's a really good, interesting point to hear from Jeff. I mean, he is not getting any big opportunities. He did just have that amp, that uh, Discovery show, which I don't think did remarkably well. But his channel is doing okay. But the thing is about David is that he almost reached this level of fame that was like every YouTuber dreams of, I guess. But then... He's back making YouTube videos. Um, the views are great, though, so I'm going to call him washed up, would you? Like, yeah, he's still getting five million, six million, million, eight million. Yeah. I don't know if that, like, maybe that's a downgrade from what his numbers used to be, but those are still huge. Yeah, those that's are a massive. Downgrade for sure. Yeah. I mean, he used to get like 20 per video, which is pretty nuts, but. Uh, so, you know, he's had a drop-off, but I wouldn't call getting 5 million views washed up. No, people still care about David. Now, James Charles, on the other hand, <laughs> is he washed up? Have you guys seen James Charles' new look? Man. Are you talking about with the, the hair? The Jizzlene Maxwell look? <laughs> the Jizzlene. <laughs> Uh, he's getting a million per video, which is a lot, obviously, but a lot less, and that's good. He shouldn't even be getting he's that. He's getting 10. I mean, like 10 million a video. James was getting a height. lot more than that, I think. Yeah. When he was collabing with, like, the Kardashians and stuff, man, he was pushing crazy numbers, bro. This one has 50 million, 30 million, 10, 15, 15. Yeah. So that's good. I'm glad people have stopped watching this. This guy's the worst person on the internet by far. Sister. Uh, I don't know by far. Yeah, maybe not. Let's, let's hold out that title. That's true. <laughs> um, but honestly, I do feel bad that, like, you know, I, I have so many other friends that are in between us that I don't want to lose. So take it easy, you know. But take it easy. I'm done being fake. I can never be fake with you guys. You can never be fake? I mean, you're just You just mean except be... for the years? <laughs> Leading up to this where you covered up, and then you go, well, his clout has run out, so now I'll be real with you guys. I mean, he released an entire documentary film that the arc of it was, like, him forgiving David and them, like, making amends and becoming friends again yeah. and stuff. So yeah. was that fake? Yes. I mean, yeah. That's sure and again, like I'm, not bla I'm not blaming him. I, I don't want to misplace my anger. Jeff, Jeff is... I really want to say he's a good guy. I want to put that out there, but Dan won't let me. <laughs> well, I, it's, don't put that on me. You can make your own judgment. Like, I yeah, do. You've I, always, for you've some always reason, soft spot for I like Jeff, yeah. even though he hates my guts. Trust me, bro. I get it. I just, I get it. I can't see the, the fucking. I don't know where we are. Okay, here we're gonna watch a little bit longer. Um, and I tried for so long to give everybody a chance, but it's just. Oh, there you go. Shit. He says he tried for so long to give everyone a chance. See, he's a great guy. Love Jeff. Is David here? We gotta cut that shit off right, right yeah. away. I was Logan Paul and KSI in space early. What? It's, it, you know what it is? Yeah. Uh, honest. I mean, yeah. She going oh, H three? No, fuck him too. What did I do? How many Lacroix have you had today? I, at least I never claimed to be your friend. <laughs> Yeah, listen, I, he puts me in the same uh, breath with David. No, fuck Ethan, too. And fuck David. What did I do? I've always been straight up with you, bro. Always been. Yeah. I cl and I clout you up more than David does. Very true. You know what I mean? When's the last time David did anything for you? That clout. I need that clout. I mean, yeah. Right? I got to hear that again. That's a good sound bite, right, Zach? Yeah, uh, honest. I mean, yeah. She going, oh, H3? No, fuck him, too. Come on the show, Jeff. I feel like we can make amends. I would love to have you back hey, you're on. So, you're weird. You, you're Jeff simp. Am I? A little bit. It just seems like he can do, like, even <laughs> literally. I want to like him. Yeah, I know. Because I feel like he's a victim. Who, who, who else could we be reacting to a video where he was just like offhand and like, fuck H3, that you'd be like, I like this guy. Anybody <laughs> else, you wouldn't be going I guess I'm just not, I'm not very like threatened by his, uh, 
<laughs> I mean, the dude, the dude, by his hostility, <laughs> the dude's a stud. Like, I'll just, I didn't say I want to fuck him, Zach. Well, no, 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 <laughs> fuck him. What I'm just saying, the, the dude's okay. a stud. You might be honest, speak for yourself Zach. there. You might be honest, dude's a stud. He's very good looking. Logan. Why, Logan's han- uh, handsome? What, Logan what? Paul? Nah, Jeff's got that, like, I don't know. So, he's what, cool. he, Jeff's the only handsome guy I've ever talked about? Maybe, yeah. That you, like, have beefed with. He's probably the Beef. most handsome guy that you've beefed with. I mean, who else are we got? I'm not making star? these qualifications. The Pauls. I'm just saying the dude's a good-looking dude. Yes, okay, so yes, I want to yes, fuck totally. him. That's what you're saying. I did. Did I say that? I'm. I might be implying that. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What is happening to my eye? Oh, Yo, oh. dude. Yeah, you fuck. He, J, Jeff has a few <laughs> questions for this. Someone in chat mentioned that David had this video. I wonder if that pissed Jeff off. I bet it did. What's happening, my you guys, my eye. It's just like a mosquito <laughs> bite or something. That Same was time. his clickbait for the day. Not that good. What happened to my eye? Would you click that? AB? Me? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's David Stanley. No, I'm just, I'm way. asking, is that good clickbait? <laughs> what happened to my eye? Uh, being that he fucked up Jeff's eye for life, yes, I would definitely click that. Oh, you think it was a reference to the... I don't know if it was intentional, but I'm I'm curious. So maybe I should do one for this episode? What happened to my eye? Ooh. Maybe, maybe we could crop out Jeff's damaged eye and put it over mine. Insensitive. No comment. How many LaCroix have you had today? I've been drinking like 12 LaCroix Honestly, a day. Dude, it's that's like... super interesting, bro. <laughs> He's doing a Q&A from his fan. No, 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 no. This is why I love Jeff. He's really good. He's super interesting. <laughs> Let's go back. I want to hear that question. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. She's going, oh, H3. No, fuck him, too. How Daddy. many LaCroix have you had today? I've been drinking like 12 LaCroix a day. Yeah, that's like, awesome, straight dude. Straight up, they came no in the hotel room because we stayed in the hotel room the first couple days. That was so So, funny. I was just... Dude, that's crazy. Slamming LaCroix. No food because I didn't have an appetite. Right. And... That's awesome, bro. That's such an epic anecdote. <laughs> All right, next one is at what? Tw- at, <laughs> I, wonder why I can't wait. Three. <laughs> <laughs> On the subreddit in like three hours, there's going to be a video of us talking about LaCroix or something. For I sure. like LaCroix. I, I'm, just, I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, we've had long conversations about yeah. how, what we drink. Okay, you know, I'm giving of... him a hard time. Uh, Come yes, on. You are I'm a little bit. A joke. Why am I the one that's defending him? Yeah, do you want to fuck him now, like... too? Everyone here just wants to fuck him now? Uh, no, I don't even like him. Wait, where's the next part? 23.15. All right. I took a baseball bat to an excavator in your honor. Thank you, Chad. You want to do something in my honor? Take a baseball bat. Okay, I'm not going. Bad buddy. It's a good name. Is that a stage name? It's crazy after one accident. How many surgeries you can have? I know. I know. I wish I would have known in the beginning that it was going to be this much of a headache because I would pop. You know who? Um, uh. How long is your recovery process? Probably like a week, no? Yeah. Where's Vince? Mm. Hanging out with David. Ooh. <laughs> what do you say? Ooh. Where's Vince hanging out with David? Who's Vince? I don't know. Been is that times. it? Or is there more? That was it. Just saying that if he would have known there would have been that much surgery, he would have clocked David. I would have clocked them one, all right? Updated thumb. No, I hate it. No? <laughs> you look, I think you look You good like it? Kind of fire? Yeah, kind of fire. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> David looks so stupid in that photo. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Cam, do you, face? Have, do you have the Photoshop that I. Is that real? That that's not edited? No, that's not, no, that's not edited. <laughs> it looks like Quagmire, dude. I asked Cam to make a meme. He's probably working on it, but let me just show you. Jeff, come on my show. He's literally this guy. 
Yeah, I mean, that's he invented that guy, basically. Now you should check the disc. Wait, show, yeah, show what Cam just... Oh, he did make it. Okay, nice. <laughs> you guys, it's a double rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a double rainbow, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at this. Zoom on, zoom on David's face. What the hell is he doing, dude? Whoa! It's so stretched. Yeah, I don't even know. I'm trying to like do it. Ooh! It's like kind of side. You have to like shift your jaw to side. Yeah, I, don't, I, can't, I have to like dislocate my jaw to do that. <laughs> Wait, here's the original? Oh my god, he posted that? Yeah. My first ever photo dump. <laughs> Dude, what? Alright, let's check out the photo dump. They call them dumps. Oh, sh <laughs> oh shit, it's a picture of Jeff head first in the water. Oh, no. He didn't mean to put that in here. Oops. I should do a photo dump. It's just pictures of Theodore, though, basically. Oh, there's a photo dump. Can I like this? Oh, I can. Dude, yeah. Elo's got so much swag, bro. Swag. Theodore's got crazy swag, too. <laughs> I'm the only schlub in that house. Oh, we went to this place called Adventure City over mm -hmm. the weekend. It's near Disneyland, but it's made for specifically, like, two, three-year-olds. Mm-hmm. Really fun. Theodore loved it. Nice. It's great. Oh, and Bruce. You guys posted a picture of Bruce the other day, and uh, a lot of people were pointing out that he looks a lot like you. <laughs> well, he is my son. Yeah. So there you go, but proof. <laughs> Sorry, Keemstar. <laughs> but like Theodore, like looks. You think he looks more like me? Theodore looks like Ela and you mixed for sure. Yeah. Bruce at least. I mean, obviously he's like two weeks old. He's Bruce is my change, boy. But right now he definitely looks like. Well, he's my little Batman. There you go. Young Master Bruce. <laughs> That's what I call him. Young Master Bruce. Young Master Bruce. <laughs> Your breakfast is ready. Wait, there's another part I should watch. Oh, I already closed it. Fuck. Here, let me see if I can open it. We'll have to rebuy. I don't recall how good it is, though. I guess, let me screen it real quick. No, I, I, I got it. What's the timestamp? 36. Oh, my God. Okay. 36. Oh, no. Are we good? L, if the stream is bad. This probably, I, I don't know. Maybe I, I will, maybe I won't. But it's not just the, the text thing here. You know, there's more shit going on, but... Um, I'm doing all right after surgery. <laughs> Thank you for still oh, that keeping that on, Ryan. He was just alluding to there's more than just him not texting him. Wait, let me go back a little because I missed the... <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the silver... Right, guy. If they like them. Come here, Ryan. Um, thoughts on Kanye on Instagram last week. I thought it was pretty cool. It's fun. It's entertaining. I hate Both David. On, there's a lot of shit on David here. Like, look, guys, I'll I'll talk more about this. Probably, I, I don't know. Maybe I, I will. Maybe I won't. But it's not just the, the text so thing funny. here. You know, there's more so shit going on. But, um, I'm just... All righty. Well, I hope Wasn't David eyes... supposed to be paying for all of his medical stuff? Wasn't that, like, part of the... That's... Uh... Redemption. What I Arca. heard. I wonder if uh, he's still paying for the the ninth surgery. He better be. Yeah, and then I wonder if that's what's uh, driving the wedge. I wonder if it's too late for him to sue him. If there is there, I don't think there's a statute of limitation on civil lawsuits. Is there? No, and I mean I doubt it would be past that. I mean that only happened like a year and a half ago, right? He should sue him still, man. Two years ago, maybe. That that's. Bro, that's like such an easy win lawsuit. And that's how David skirts responsibility because he's convinced everyone, you're going to hurt all your friends. You're going to hurt me. You're going to be a rat. <laughs> Meanwhile, David should be penniless for what he did to both those people. Anyway, that's that. What do you guys think? What do you think? Uh, where's our pizza, Brett? <laughs> how far fuck? away is this place? Did you drive to Sweden? 
Yeah. Yeah. Sound it, it, was, it was fairly far. But uh, she'll probably be back soon. Call her, Ian. <laughs> Get her on the line. <laughs> Where the fuck is the pizza? Um, well, in the meantime, there was a... Safe Moon lawsuit. Oh, yeah. Safe Moon Safe is... Safe Moon, baby. Safe Moon, as we... I was talking about how crypto and NFTs are pretty much scams, and I'm over working with them, or... I mean, I, I've come to the real... It's been a slow-coming realization. I mean, obviously, there's been, like, shit coins, like Safe Moon. I mean, we sold NFTs here on this show. Right, that was just, like, an experiment. I mean, it wasn't... But yeah, we sold. I don't NFTs. think really any of us even knew what the fuck was going on. Like that was sort of like it was the an exploratory thing. segment. I mean, the one that I uh, <laughs> <laughs> I still have a bridge to sell you. Yeah, I literally made it that because I thought from the beginning that the whole thing just seemed dreary. But that was about NFTs. I think most people are starting to come around that NFTs are just like so stupid. They got a, a lot of hate online. Yes. Yeah, a lot Wait of hate. The fuck up. But I think crypto itself, I'm starting to turn and think like. Actually, I think crypto is just straight up pretty bad news. OpenSea, yeah, here's your here is your um, NFT that you made what like ten thousand dollars selling. Is that I still like I'm just the whole thing was just so baffling. Like, who bought this? A dude named uh, Kushari. Angels, Angels bought this stand. <laughs> By the way, is any have any is there any activity on any of our? <laughs> I don't think no so. zero. Yeah zero. You've been checking. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised. Who the hell well, would? Yeah. Now here's was... now here you want to talk activity? <laughs> here's Gary V and his dad <laughs> making out. <laughs> any By bits? the way, whatever happened with this? We Ian? never. Well, we didn't actually mint these. Can so. we mint these? No, let's not. Can we set transfer them to Gary V? His I wallet. Theoretically, you could do that. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, wait, you got offers on it. Did you know that, Ian? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't want to mint it because then that's like the you know. Wait, it says it was minted here thing. a month ago. Doesn't it? Wait, it does say that it's minted. Yeah. I didn't pay anything. I d normally, you have to pay. A right, you have to like pay a fee. To gas fee. You have a pay. real one. It says right here. You have minted this thing a month ago. And someone offered 0.1 Ethereum, which is like 200 bucks or 300 bucks for it, right? Changes by the hour. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you trying to you trying to sling these on the side? No, that's, that's <laughs> well, I mean that if you my, already minted that was my it. Christmas gift. If did you, you already did you mint it? <laughs> no, I didn't mint it, but Who know, minted? Me and Ian are in negotiations. I don't know, I don't recall. I'm saying if you already no minted it. I thought you had to pay to mint to mint something. Frenching fathers. <laughs> I just uploaded a picture. I didn't know. I just I'm gonna Christmas check your crypto gift. wallet, Ian. Uh oh. Ian friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even linked to a wallet. There's nothing. Wait, you made this shield? That was my Christmas. Yeah, gift. that was one of his. Uh... Yo, you got an offer, bro. You got a two hundred and sixty dollar offer on it. <laughs> you, someone offered one point one e. Well, it doesn't belong to him. Yeah, I mean, if AB wants to pull the trigger, oh, you and sell own it. this. I mean, they were given to AB as a gift. I mean, Ian are gonna split it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So you own the Frenching Fathers, fifty-fifty. <laughs> you should sell that. This is we're, valuable. Well, I will discuss oh, with my partner just, when we have a good wait, offer. You just it's, were it's already been minted. It's a joke. It's this is great. Oh, my God. This is a valuable <laughs> NFT. There's one place where I can't control my emotions. Fuck me. <laughs> and that. What, no, not to get real, dude. What does that mean? Oh, the pizza's here, by the way. Bring it. <laughs> Just saying, AB, come on now. I mean, this is an NFT that is satirizing Gary V's absolute dog shit. Stupid. God, I hate the V friend shit. So let's get the Frenching Fathers going. How much can we get for this? Two hundred thousand. <laughs> you got at least. You got to pick a side here a little bit. Like in, in literally forty-five seconds. <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> this, this is it's out already of his, minted. This is, out, this is out of his control. This is. It's this already is, minted. Oh my god. Seven days a week. Wasted potential. I have no association with this. I don't make money from it. 
I don't own it. Well, then, leave, I mean, leave that. That's AB's decision. He wants to. He wants to keep. He wants to hang on to these. AB and Ian. AB and Ian. Right. Join me. <laughs> no, it's AB, yours. This is this is yours, AB. If I you want to was... sell it, sell it. If you don't want to sell it, don't. Did he give it to you? He said it was fifty fifty. It was his gift. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. Tell, just tell me what you're saying, AB. He says a fifty fifty. We'll split it. I guess not. He's just having. A Did he put better. like a fifty percent? <laughs> Smart contract. I don't on know it? how he did it. It was just a, a a buddy shake of the hand. What's happening, Ian? You want fifty percent of this? <laughs> I'm saying if he wants to sell it, then we can sell it. But I'd have to. I thought I had to pay a gas fee to sell it. I just uploaded it. So was it a gift for AB or not, Ian? Well, I uploaded a picture. I didn't know if we were actually selling it or if it was just a gag. Well, I can't think it could go either way. But is it AB's or not? I mean, if he wants, that's what I'm saying. If he wants to sell it, we can sell it. What do you but mean we? Got we? Admit the we? It. I think you, you keep slipping the we. Yeah, why do you there? keep saying we? You notice that He's, if he wants to sell it, we. What, what do you mean? Well, I, I'll link to my. I, I would like to offer you. <laughs> oh I mean, Ian, fifty percent for making it. But why do you say we if it's ABs? <laughs> I never gave him any. Like I'm freaking it's out. It's uploaded on my account, so we'd have to set it up. Why are you freaking out, up. love? Because it's, it's so easy. I see what's going on here. <laughs> St tell me what's Ian happening. Ian has the thing, but it's promised to AB. So if AB wants to sell it, he needs to tell AB. Or fuck. He needs to tell Ian. It's on <laughs> yeah. Ian's account. What, is what he's saying. Crypto is so simple. What don't you understand? <laughs> Just Lo send Love it to AB's wallet. Love is right. It's not. Love is wrong. Okay. No, I'm right. And love is right. And love is wholesome. Love conquers and love all. loves. Love conquers yeah, all. Yeah, love conquers Love is love. <laughs> yes. No, wait. Can't you just send it to AB's wallet? I, I mean, I guess. Theoretically, What yeah. do you mean you guess? It's a gift. I don't know how this works. Oh. I just clicked upload on a picture. Oh, I okay. thought I had to pay a fee to make it a real NFT. So like, I thought that okay. was where the whole the, like yeah. ecological impact came from. I think from, you what did pay a fee. About. It says it was meant to. No, I didn't. I didn't even link it to a wallet. I just clicked upload. So where you is it? You can try right now <laughs> if you want. And I said, if that's, I said, if that's a real NFT, we'll split it. Hmm. Yeah, but I didn't think it was like a re... I don't know. I don't right, know how it right. works. I don't know. Uh, so interesting. I think we both kind of Thank forgot you so about much. it. Wow. So this is what... It, it just looks like chunks of chicken or something. Yeah, that, this is very, very weird. Okay, this isn't what it's supposed to look like. It looks like just... So first of all, let's look here. This does not look like kebab. I think can everyone you take the would Gary agree with that. me off so I can see love? <laughs> hmm? Thank yeah. you. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead. I'm following. Oh. <laughs> Kebab pizza. Uh, I can well, yeah. tell you, it's just a chunk of chicken. I just tried a piece. I'll try it right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good? Chicken. Wait, it is, it, it, it's good or no? I mean, it's not bad, but it don't taste like kebab. Hmm. I thought it was supposed to be like flaps of meat. Yeah. That's exactly. It's like shavings. Yeah, mm -hmm. shavings. Mm -hmm. Well, try the sauce because that was what you were. Right. So if oh, you guys... well, this looks nothing like the Swedish sauce. Mm. Oh my god, that smells super sour. So, if you guys don't know, Love says his favorite food is pizza kebab. Yeah, kebab pizza, right? Which is um. In Sweden, we do a lot of wow, fusion Ian just food. Wow, or <laughs> AB just got <laughs> a sandwich. I am me down, yeah. Because it, there's pork on the, uh, the kebab pizza, so... Wait, there's pork on this? That's I think pork? this is pork, yeah. Oh, okay. Which is quite unusual. I'll try the sauce now. I dipped it right here. This ain't what? it. Wow, it's not good. It's not even good? No. You, bro, that's just like... Basically, that's just mayonnaise. Yeah, I think so. It's like tartar sauce. And these people claim to be Swedish. Hell no. Nah. It's just tartar sauce. Yeah. Call those motherfuckers up right now. I want to have them. a talk with them. Hmm. I mean, it's like tartar sauce. It's not bad, but... So like... do you think this is bacon? Because I this literally looks like bacon. This right here. No, no, that. it's just chunks of pork. No, this looks like a piece of bacon, right? It looks like Canadian bacon. It looks like bacon. Yeah, we drove like a, we drove like two hours for this yet. Now, this is a pizza, so I'll slam it either way, but it ain't a kebab pizza. Damn.
Yeah, cut this. That's crazy. We drove so far for this specialty. But on the website, I saw the photos and it looked legit. Yeah. But that's not what they gave us. Sam, did you buy the kebab plates too? Yeah, I'm sorry, the kebab plate? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. I love the way Love says kebab. 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 Kebab shit. Hip. Kebab. Hip hop. How should he say it, Love or AB? Kebab. Kebab. But you it in like a cute way, like a kebab. Kebabi. It's you're it's my kebabi this Valentine's. <clears throat> kebabi. Well, anyway. So, let me just. If anyone has any leads on kebab pizza in LA or in California, Sam can drive. California, uh, no big California. Jesus. I'm kidding. In Los Angeles, please let me know. DM me. It takes like 12 hours to drive to the north of California. Yeah, I was just kidding. I know a good place in Sacramento. Oh, yeah? You want to go there, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, but please let me know. Did they I deliver? I'm in search of kebab pizza. Wow, we tried our best, man. I, th I thought... I thought it would be... I mean, the pizza's not bad, right? It's not bad. It's, oh, it's, you did. The pizza's fine. And I'm dipping it in mayonnaise, which is new thing for me. <laughs> I mean, that's what the sauce is. He has no pizza the, It's basically just tartar sauce. I love pizza, and I love people. Pizza is actually pizza. very nutritious. Yeah, so I'm starting my kebab pizza mission. Wait, Cam, you got a calzone? Bring that out here. Oh, did you get the kebab calzone? Yeah, Cam got the calzone. Cam is a calzone boy. Yeah. We love that about him, don't we, folks? Cameron is very nice. Show me that. Let me see what you got. Cam got a kebab calzone. Wow. And it's probably just the same chunks of meat, eh? Okay, fantastic. Inside. Ooh, Manny's in the pizza. That's questionable, folks. We question that, don't we? We love to question the kebabs. Well, speaking of Trump, oh, speaking of Safe Moon, I guess we should talk about that. So, Safe Moon, we've made fun of. Safe Moon's going to the moon, baby. It was like, uh, what was it? One dollar gets you like a trillion Safe Moon or something? I just bought 39 million <laughs> shares of Safe Moon. And it was actually being promoted by a bunch of huge personalities Jake Paul, Soju Boy, Nick Carter. Ben Phillips, Little Yachty. That's why everyone was so into the Safe Moon scam. Uh, well, there's a lawsuit being filed. Did you guys hear also the FBI setting up their first crypto division? Oh, baby, it's all about to go down. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, like, you got crypto, the crypto arena. Now the Staples Centers where the Lakers plays. Now the Crypto.com arena. You got these huge marketing campaigns with Matt Damon. What was it? Crypt was that Crypto.com? The f f the f fortune favors the brave. Maybe Coinbase. Or was was it Coin? No, I don't think so. I think it was more scammy than Coinbase. Matt Damon. Fortune favors the brave. I think it was Crypto.com. Dude, Crypto.com is so shady. Where are they getting all this money from? It's crazy. Well, they have a huge amount of investment from uh, a lot of venture capital things, which is one of the things that really over the last year has been making me raise my eyebrow more and more. This whole crypto thing is the whole promise of it is this like revolution to stick it to the banks and get away from traditional capital finance. You know, it, it, the whole thing sort of, it was invented prior to the 2008 uh, collapse of the housing market, but that's really when it started to take off. And um, more and more, it's just becoming obvious. It's just being co-opted and, and owned by all of the same vampires that control the traditional capital. So it, it's, it just doesn't... All the big players in no crypto who are pushing there. it yeah. are the same rich fucks. Right. Pushing whatever scheme they're doing in traditional... Currencies. 
you know. Anyway, the lawsuits are alleging that celebrities lured in investors with me misleading promotions. Here's an example of people promoting the coin. This is real interesting. Um, Jake Paul, years ago I talked about Doge before Elon. Three months ago I talked about Safe Moon. Now I'm talking about Yummy. It's clever. He goes, Doge, which is a real thing now, by no uh, influence of Jake's, is Safe Moon, is Yummy. I'm going I'm to I'm eat your ass. Nick Carter. Oh no, that yeah. yummy coin. Yeah, here's yummy, by the way. Not doing so hot. But Jake Paul's credibility. He knows what he's talking about. You got, you got him. That chewing is. Yeah, it's a lot. Damn. Now I'm talking about yummy. That was May fifteenth. Where does that sit on the uh, on May the rug pole? Uh, oh, wouldn't you know Look at it? that. That's a perfect rug pull. Oh, wouldn't you know That it? is a perfect rug Stop pull. It. Look at that. It couldn't have been done better. Like a work of art. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. <laughs> More Safe Moon. Let's do Safe Moon. Yeah. It's right at the, it's right there, man. Right before the dump. Huge pump. Oops. Look up Safe Moon because he tweeted about Safe Moon on March 27th. Safe Moon. Well, not Safe Moon. Safe Moon Inu. Safe Moon version 2. Safe, Safe Moon Nomics. <laughs> Safe Moon Cash. Uh, I assume it's just this first one. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this is just today. Hold on. Oh. There was a dump just today. Not as bad as Yummy. March 27. March 27th. Uh, that was right before it started okay. to, to go to the moon, baby. I mean, it's all relative. Like, look at how little all of this is <laughs> actually valued at. But. That chart doesn't look that bad, weirdly. Yeah, uh, safe moon. Safe moon. I mean, it didn't, it didn't go to the moon, as promised. It didn't really bottom out still. Almost back down to zero. <laughs> so it's there's just that it's one. All relative. That one dude is still holding out. Yeah, I got three hundred million safe moon. <laughs> I'm holding out. Yeah. And then we've got uh, Nick Carter, like the guy from Backstreet the Boy Boys. Band. Yeah, dude. It's time for blast off. Safe moon, baby. Hey, I don't know, but do you ever see um, promotions for, like, U.S. dollars? <laughs> no. That'd be weird, right? Well, there's, like, bonds and stuff. Uh, it's not quite the same, but... It's... Hey, guys, now's a good time to buy dollars or go into the moon. So it's weird that Nick Carter is uh, coming up in this story, because just the other day, uh, Allie asked me if I remembered the... Uh, Backstreet Boys um, superhero comic, which apparently Nick Carter wrote at like the height of their popularity and stuff. Were you aware that they no. were turned into a team of superheroes? No. Kind of want to get my hands on the uh, first edition of this. The Backstreet Project. Now he's slinging crypto on Twitter. What a fall. What is net worth, Nick Carter? I mean, I'm sure he's. Still I mean, his crackhead brother is more famous than him at this point. <laughs> Backstreet Boys were my. We were shit just watching uh, Aaron Carter box Lamar Odom. That was wild. Yeah. I don't know who set that up. I know. Uh, net worth of thirty-five million dollars. Oh, me. God bless him. Man, he's doing fine. I mean, those Backstreet Boys are royalties. Huge. Nine yeah. million shares of Safe Moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually impressive because there's like five of them. You know. Uh, little Yachty, whatever, who cares? Little Yachty. I don't know who's Ben Phillips, but he's being sued, apparently. Whoa. Idiot. YouTuber. Soldier Boy. <laughs> he just straight up tweets out it. <laughs> My public address to receive <laughs> Safe Moon? What, is he asking people to send him Safe Moon? He was, yeah. What? What? 
What the hell? Yeah, but where the missing is Keemstar, who also promoted it. I don't know why he's not being sued. I have a theory. Here's Keemstar <laughs> tweeted about Safe Moon. Dan has a good theory. Well, let's look at it first. <laughs> Keemstar says Safe Moon, March 31st. Where's that on the graph? April 16, we're rich, baby. Truly believe in Safe Moon and not just for a quick buck. I'm long. People at Safe Moon are doing so much good stuff. Love the roadmap. Huge community already. Feels like the start of something huge. In a world of 100,000 new crypto coins, this one sticks out. What you think? Oh, one of two, and also two of two. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a YouTuber. Yo, you're in trouble. That crypto shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is how you know it's an ad. Because they make you write that. Right. Oh, interesting. It could be. Well, that goes against my theory. And I might be wrong, but why would Keemstar say he's not a financial advisor? Like, he gives a fuck. What's your theory? I, I think he's just a dumbass that got actually taken by SafeMoon. I don't think he's in on it. I think he lost his ass. That's Ooh, interesting Come Coming with that heat. So he's just an idiot? Yeah. Who would pay him to promote their product? I, I mean, he gets 200 likes on his Twitter. It's like it's not like he has engagement. That's pretty good. That's a good theory. I think he... I think he's being genuine in what he's saying. He really believes in the project. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, I'm sitting on 50 trillion safe boom. Yep. If this just goes up one penny, I'll be richer than the United States government. Why are you so cute when you talk shit? Sorry, bro. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Is it that bad? Oh my god, you guys. It's like all the chips. The hero we don't What deserve. am I doing? I'm just trying. I Do gotta it, eat. I'm, I'm the literally moving the whole mic away from me. Just walk. Walk. Oh. It is bad. How could it be that bad? Dude, you don't get the struggle for people like me. It's so... Alright, take it. I'll take one I, Even I probably shoot in the mic sometimes, but... To be honest, it's really bad. I'll be honest, all I could hear is Zach chewing. <laughs> You're right. I've never seen someone slap their lips as much as this man. Yeah, I don't want to be rude, but it's pretty bad. I literally moved the mic fully all the way away from me. You can still hear it, unfortunately. You can hear me chilling? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. There's like a civil I'm war sorry. in the comments. Some people want you to keep chewing to quote unquote shut up the babies. Well, there was like a whole debate on the subreddit where yeah. they're like, I don't know why everyone's complaining about Ethan chewing. And then there's apparently in the chat, everybody's losing their fucking mind. And now everybody gets to eat pizza but me. So what the fuck kind of justice is this? <laughs> and I'm just looking at everyone eating their lunch, and I'm supposed to sit here and starve? <laughs> if you take my pizza, you don't get to eat, Dan. You can take my pizza, too. I'm done. No. I'm stopping in solidarity. Put some tape over your eye. Whatever you want, Dan. I'm going to tape my mouth. Anyway, the lawsuit uh, says SafeMoon failed to deliver promises with regards to its roadmap that included the SafeMoon wallet, an NFT platform, <laughs> an NFT platform, as well as a crypto exchange. The fuck? That's crazy that they didn't make a crypto exchange. SafeMoon. Um, also in the news, people are saying a poll. Okay, let's do a poll. Does my chewing bother you? Let's do it. I feel me, like we've done this before. At great lengths, who pushes the mic away from me? Who slaves and toils? I've got a newborn baby. I don't sleep, yet here I am. Are the options just yes or Does no? Does the chewing bother you? Yes or no? Binary? Okay. Binary. Bad poll. I'm, yeah. I'm incoming. I'm playing. Does Ethan's Bad chewing thing. bother you? Yes or no? Drum roll, please. This poll confused me. I, uh, I answered no, but I meant yes. And Ed Sheeran commented on my video. No way. Cam? The, the Ed Sheeran? I uh, doubt it. I don't even know how to look on TikTok. Uh, you guys got a result there? The no's have it. Uh, but I will say... What's the percentage? I can't see it. It's 69% no. 
Okay, that's a pretty, that's a blowout. It's a blowout, well, but here's the thing. If, it's a lot of people. If 32% of our audience it's a lot. is like being driven crazy, that's, that's a good chunk. Yeah, I agree. If it was like, if it was like 5 to 10%, I'd be like, eh, you know. Well, thank you it. to the majority of you who are, have a heart. That's 79%. 69. <laughs> no, but I wish uh, I, to the I other wish ones who are bothered by it, I won't eat because uh, I, know that, I know what it's like to hear noises you don't like, especially when you're listening to a podcast. So, okay, fine. Anyway, that being said, the show is over. I'm going to go eat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we are almost at two hours. Well, let's talk about uh, the truth social. Um, well, I kind of feel like maybe we should... Wait and see. Well, because, the, I mean, all there is to really say right now is that the app is fucking bur crashing and burning. Wait, this so, tr so Donald Trump just launched his Twitter competitor, Truth. Hasn't he already launched this like three times? I'm confused. Well, there was like... God damn it! Yeah, it's still this is this is what happens when oh, you try to sign up. Oh, it's just straight up down. Yeah. Yeah, I saw an image of someone who tried to sign up at like 3 a.m. and they were in a waiting line of like a hundred thousand people. Oh, and that's the thing. Even if it, so, I've been trying all morning to sign up, and I can't even get to the screen that you sign up. But even if you get through, all signing up does you is put you on a waiting list to actually get. Can your it be account. that hard to get? Are they just getting DDoSed? Like, they, no, I think that. The, I mean, I'm sure that they act genuinely do have a huge influx of users, but also, um, it's kind of, it's this thing that like, all of these um, conservative alt social media platforms always have horrible What's, tech issues. It's like they've got the free memberships hosting option. Yeah, I don't know why it always happens this way, but like they can't fucking figure out how to build a website. It's it's strange. That's what I'm saying. Like they're like Parler and got, Getter and uh, Gab and like all of those. Frank Speech. They're all getting hacked constantly. All of, like all of their user data getting <laughs> leaked. It's like nonstop. I mean, it happens to big. I mean, Facebook has had leaks and stuff too. So, but I don't know. So Mark Dice. Uh, by the way, this I guess Mark Dice blocked me or something because I can't open his Twitter. <laughs> oh no way! It says unable to view this tweet. Oh, he's for sure blocked you then. Mark Dice. He's just another such a freak. I hate that guy. Uh, try we'll, 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 we'll pull it up. Yeah, let me pull it up. And I, uh, I'm logged into the same account, so it's going to be blocked for me too. Unless he did delete it. No. No, no he no, didn't erase it. No, We're just getting he, cock blocked. Dice blocked. Yeah, the H, it's the H3 podcast account is blocked. Why would he him. block the H3 podcast? <laughs> what a baby. Mark Dice, I've been beta testing. Beta! You beta tested? I wouldn't do anything with beta in the title. Never, ever, <laughs> ever do it. <laughs> what a beta, dude. I've been a beta tester for Trump's Truth Social app. Follow me there once it rolls out to the Apple App Store tomorrow. The media's going to melt down first thing Monday morning. I think the website's going to be the one that melts right. down, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> CNN is going to have some interns join Truth tomorrow to see what's going on. Uh, okay, sure, definitely. But until then, imagine how pissed they're going to be that they can't see what's, what we're saying right now or who's already joined. CNN sucks. What a hardcore cool dude. <laughs> I, mean, I just love that it's like... Imagine how pissed they're going to be when they can't see what we're saying. Yeah, we can't. Nobody can see what you're saying because <laughs> your website's website, fucking crashing. Wait, like, why? Is, how is that an own? Wait, why? Is, but even hypothetically, if it was working, it's not like a behind a magic curtain. No. I mean, it's a social media platform. Yeah, I, it's very strange. Wait, he replied to himself so many times. Oh yeah, so he has replies off, and then he explains that he does that to force the haters to quote tweet what I said. Instead of being able to just reply in the thread, thus bringing your message to an even, even wider audience, all their followers. Now you know. You're welcome. 77 <laughs> quote <laughs> tweets. <laughs> awesome, dude. Also, I mean, that's not... I mean, if you follow somebody and they reply to something, you that will, you'll also see that. So yes. that's not a thing. No, he's just sensitive. He doesn't want people to say mean yeah. things to him. I can confirm Alex Jones will be joining True Souls. I told you, media meltdown is coming. That's all they care about is just a meltdown. We want, Who cares? We want them to meltdown. The media is not melting down because Trump made a Twitter. I, I want more Trump tweets. I miss Trump tweets. I know. I know. Bring it back, man. But here's some people that are on there. Matt Gates. Oh, yeah. Majory Taylor Green. Huge. Paul Gosar. 
Oh, huge. Uh, Madison Coth uh, Cawthorn? Cawthorn? Yeah. Huge. And other members of Congress have already joined. Um, so I uh, went and found what they were uh, posting on there, and it's just as epic as you as you'd imagine. Yo, they, I'm about to have a meltdown. Show me what they've been posting. Yo, Wendy Rogers, that one uh, crazy lady. Um, Welcome to all my friends over on Truth Social. This feels like a 2016 Trump rally. Exciting. So you know about like the friends thing, spelling it like that. This is like an epic 4chan meme Wait, from is this like a five tweet? years ago. Is this a tweet? Yes, or a... that's the thing. Then she screenshots her account. She has four followers on there because epic. again, nobody can get on there. So they're all just on Twitter talking about how awesome Truth Social is. Dude, Truth is epic. It's epic. That's why I'm posting about it on Twitter. I can't wait to get on Truth. I've been trying. Yep, and here I'm the... on Truth, baby. Two followers. Tr Truth Social's going to the moon. They both have two. She has two accounts, both with two followers. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> and I'll then just give you a big fat kiss. Here I found a bunch of screenshots of people that want to get on uh, that can't. Uh, I've been waitlisted. Got to be patient. Just keep re-uploading. <laughs> oh, that'll help the website. Something went wrong over and over. Getting an error message. Keep trying. I just got mine created. Keep hitting the retry button. It will go through. Then you will be in the waitlist. <laughs> so just, you got to you gotta get through the first hurdle just to get on the waitlist. Be patient. It's slow. And then, yeah, uh, I already showed you, but that's wow. uh, that's what's happening on the website right now. So good stuff. Maybe I recommend using some of that uh, some of that billions of dollars upgrading the hosting or something. Yeah. Well. So I want to. Maybe there'll be more to report once I can finally get on and start exploring that's the depths. But but how did how is he? F he's going to be competing with Frank's speech. I mean, they're going to be. Dude, Mike Lindell must be so. He's so. He's what's going on at Frank's speech? You know, he's still going strong. I, I still, uh, <laughs> I still see. Because Frank's speech was supposed to be the new twit right-wing Twitter. Yes, which it still it's, isn't a social media platform, which is odd. It's just That's his vlog what it was channel. Promoted as. Oh, he's live right now? Uh, he's live 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Wow. He streams he streams for like sixteen hours. A day. <laughs> yeah. And well, then they replay. Well let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah, let's see what he's got. <laughs> Not only could these things escalate, but I think it's a near certainty that given the current imbalance of power between the sides, because this much is of your Dr. power is uh, on Peter what you have Prey. leadership. And we uh, don't have by the way, his leadership. his last name is, is just a coincidence. He's not preying on, on you. Side. And because we're unprepared for cyber war or conventional war in Europe or nuclear war. I want to go back to the one thing you said, Dr. Pry. Anyways. You're saying that Hold if on. Biden puts the sanctions onto, Israel, onto uh, excuse me, Russia, <laughs> as he's saying tonight, <laughs> Russia has already said and has stated before there would be Zoom in on Mike, a please. price to pay on the U.S. So what you're saying is this would likely start with the new way of warfare, the new way of warfare with the cyber attacks and blackouts. So you're saying Putin is not going to let us put a bunch of sanctions on him without right. at least maybe engaging Vladimir Putin. <laughs> High-level political commentary to an audience of two. Mm -hmm. Michael Dow. My pills will give you back pain for life. I fucking hate that fucking pill, dude. All right. Well, we've got a lot more, but you know what? It's two hours. We got much more to talk about. We'll be back on Wednesday. All right, guys? That's right. Hell yeah. We have another show on Wednesday. We do. Are you serious? That's how it goes. Fuck, dude. When does Elden Ring come out? 25th. 25th, that's... Uh, Thursday. Friday. Oh, Friday. Friday. Uh, we got to do a show on Friday? Fuck. Well, that means it comes out Thursday night, probably. You know what I mean? Right. Mm. Right. I think we can beat it before we have to start the show on Friday? Someone will. Say, what, Someone the, what are the chances of, of us being on time on Friday with that coming out Thursday night? What's the chance of us being on time any day? Uh, right. <laughs> but let's cut that in half. Whatever those chances are. The same as always. I Zero. guess. Let me just read off some of these donos real quick before we go. Uh, YouTube added a cool feature where you can actually like 
see them in oh. a way that isn't super roundabout, so that's nice. Let me um, open the stream. I can see what you're talking about. Uh, let's see. Uh, Carla just celebrating that she's been a member for 12 months, a whole year. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Carla. Fuck love yeah. That. We love that, Carla, don't we? Uh, you guys should put a sticker of uh, animated, an, an animated sticker on Theodore instead of the blur, I think is what this is saying. What does that mean? Instead of blurring his The face. stickers look weird. Hmm. It doesn't quite cover, and I don't know. It's a weird thing. Uh, somebody made a YouTube video confronting the public if Cav Cav and Harvey look alike for the movement. The data is compelling. All right. Go check oh, we'll that check out. that out. Yeah. Lovely K Ray. Uh, where I come from, Swedish pizza is another name for female anatomy. <laughs> is that true? A Swedish pizza? I don't know if that's true. I know of. Wait, what? <laughs> For a female private part? In Have Swedish? you heard that? Mm. Never heard that. I, no. they, they I know fika in Italian is pussy. <laughs> <laughs> a Could fika? Could be between your legs. A fika oh, time, no. huh? Oh, fika time, huh? Fika time. <laughs> Open those legs. Fika for life. Uh, anime versus hip hop donated 20 bucks and said, Ethan not sleeping is the funniest thing to happen to this show. Don't How let this man funny? sleep any, at any cost. <laughs> How was that funny? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more so what it has done to your uh, personality. You're, it, we're getting sleep deprived, Ethan, over here. I saw a thread where people were saying the show sucks and it's not funny and people were arguing. Did you see that? Fuck yeah. those people, dude. But it's like, dude, I'm literally... I, sh I shouldn't even be here, okay? You guys are a bunch Please of Please don't pieces. drop that. I really feel like you're about to drop that. This thing is fragile, man. I'm watching from the side, and it looks like it's about to slip. Okay, go ahead. Keep keep reading. <laughs> Lawsuits going to the moon, baby. Uh, yeah. Uh, Keemstar promoted Safe Moon. Apparently, thank you for donating for that. As you saw, we we did uh, we did touch on that. Uh, let the king eat. A chew zone. The chewing is not that bad. I didn't even notice until Dan mentioned Does this it. Does look good? I can't see. I listen to the show with AirPod Pros and never hear the chewing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't have the issue. That's fine. All right. Great for you. I'm envious. <laughs> Nothing makes me trip, uh, trust a crypto coin more than when a D-list celebrity promotes it like the diarrhea skinny tea. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Uh, somebody donated 10 bucks and let them eat. Wow. Thank you. Uh, the worst part is that pizza isn't even halal. So true. Uh, just true away from the mic. Revolutionary idea, I know. He was trying. He was trying to do that. I'm getting I'm in the section where all of them are about the chewing, so forgive me. Let me keep scrolling here. Uh, Ethan, learn how to use a napkin, bro. I don't have shit on my face. I don't know about what that. is what is the nap? The napkin's gonna make more noise. <laughs> That's true. You want to hear the ruffling? Oh, do you think I have shit on my face? No. Go off, King. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, would love to see BTS of Zach's soundbite setup. I believe that is in one of the BTS. Yes. So if you're a member, you can go back into the backlog. I don't know that what was, That one was actually prior to being members only. That was BTS number three on the yeah. Highlights channel. Look at that. Go Peace check out love. on the Highlights channel. BTS number three. It's a look into my world. It'll look pretty cool. Yeah. Into the wild, wild you world. You could last a minute in my world. No way, partner. Um, by the way, there is a new BTS up for mm -hmm. members. Thank you to members. Uh, thank you to everyone who's staying who's staying a member. I understand we're not putting content out early right now because everything's live for the sake of ease of my life for now. Won't be like that forever, but for the next few couple months. Um, uh, but that being said, we are still providing the BTS. Thank you, AB. Mm -hmm. And there's Happy a new one up every week. Mm. So go enjoy that. You didn't watch it, did you? Not this week. So. Okay, good. Probably don't want to watch that. What does that mean? Just don't watch it. Don't worry about it. Not don't bad. worry about it. What's in the... Hey, come Just on. Don't, hey, wait, come on. Mm -hmm. we did a, it was a crew Q&A, and so, you know. Yeah. What I does that out, mean? I took out any mention of you. Forget about like, it. I'm just kidding. didn't make the final cut. What is this, loose lips? Just hey. forget about <laughs> it. I'm the boss. <laughs> forget you about it. Uh, Sleep with the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... Somebody, um, long-time member, said uh, cryptocurrency is not a Ponzi scheme. Okay. Well, 
Fair enough. Fair enough. Subtle. That's a subtle that's issue. Subtle. Um, 16 months. 16 months of member. 19 months. Moni. I don't even think we had memberships that long. Well, we it was available, but like totally. Right, we weren't really like pushing so it or anything. Yeah. Well, thank you, Moni. 19 months. That's amazing. I'm going on two years. Legend. Uh, can you tell Ethan to take me to the lake, please? I'm going to take you out the lake, okay? <laughs> you got two good eyes. That's two. You don't need <laughs> no. two eyes, okay? No. You don't need two kidneys. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. I'm going to take you out the lake. I'll show you the meaning Robert, of family. 16 months. Caleb Fox, all these people. I haven't eaten. I come before you with a slice of pizza. Oh, boy. And the, che oh, oh, the chewing is too much for you. Yeah. Come on. I delivered food to Ryan Kavanaugh the other day, and he was wearing one of the worst outfits I have ever seen. If that's true, I mean, please it's send more info. Well, it's not surprising. I mean, we have no way to verify that, I guess. <laughs> I hope that's true. Oh, uh, man. How's the website doing? Ryan Kavanaugh. Google Ryan Kavanaugh. Oh, you know what I want to do someday? I think it's so funny. I want to read his Wikipedia page since he started the war with the Wikimods. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do that on Ethan Klein. Just read the whole thing? No, I read it. It's every line is just <laughs> like a... The man cannot get through a single sentence now, and it's just oozing with controversy. Like, go, let's see, early life. Okay, like, how's there going to be a problem with the guy's early life, right? Ryan Kavanaugh was born in L.A., raised in Brentwood. Uh, his mother was a broker. His dad was a dentist. Um, Kavanaugh attended UC Santa Barbara and UCLA, but dropped out. In 1996, in 2012, Kavanaugh threatened the New York Times with legal action for its reporting on him, including its report that he dropped out of university. Kavanaugh claimed to have officially graduated from UCLA, but and, and he enrolled in the Ph.D. program at USC, but the New Yorker stood by its reporting that he's a fucking dropout loser. Sub, subsequent sources report Kavanaugh finished his degree. Uh... The Wall Street Journal reported that there was no record of him to ever taking classes at USC. <laughs> so, like, even in his early life, it's like this guy lied about his education, which is just weird and pathetic. First-hand experience. It's just oozing. It's just, it's so fantastic. And then, did we read this already, the philanthropy part? I believe, I, I think so. Yeah. Did. It's awesome. Anyway, the whole thing is just, like, poetic. So I want to read the old thing. It's a beautiful guys. thing. Do we got a Kev Kev tweet? Yeah. So he's linking to another, we like a old <laughs> friend Wikipedia on his Twitter page. <laughs> and someone on Reddit pointed out that even on that Reddit, it's like talking shit on him. Wait, Wait. what the fuck is golden.com? Golden. Golden. <laughs> Goldenshower.com? Yeah. But he thought he bypassed the shit talk on that, like a normal Wikipedia. This one also has it. He's just so... Bro, just have a LinkedIn. Why do you need to have on another website? Nobody goes to golden.com. Well, he's trying to fucking SEO it. So let's see what... He, when he writes his self... Let's see what he says. Early life. Okay, so we can compare here. Let's see. He won blah, blah, blah. His dad is a dentist, blah, blah, blah. So far, it's exactly the same. His dad is a surgeon, a founder of this company, blah, 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 blah. He became one of the largest biotech IPO of 2014. Oh, daddy's rich as fuck. And was later purchased by some company for $9 billion. Holy shit. Yeah, this is the thing. I, I've, I've brought up several times that he comes from money. And um, in most sources, it always just kind of describes his dad as a dentist. But, like, I think he was a dentist, but he also was, like, a serial entrepreneur that owned a ton of businesses around LA. So Tell me if you think Ryan wrote this part. Read, listen to this. From a young age, Kavanaugh had been influenced by his father's entrepreneurial bent. He also had a knack for working numbers. 
uh, all of a sudden it goes from Wikipedia style writing to autobiography. He, the man had a knack for working numbers. He had been influenced by his father's entrepreneurial bet. He was a great guy, that Ryan Kavanaugh, with a good, clean heart, never a scammer. Wouldn't, scam, wouldn't cross anybody ever. Let's see what he says about relativity of the company he bankrupted. It's a lot. He has a lot to say about it. Under Kavanaugh's leadership, relativity built a powerhouse television company. Dude, you fucking bankrupted your company, dude. Under, uh, let's see if he says under Ryan's leadership, he, relativity got bankrupted. Let's see. Let's see how he spin this. In 2015, relativity filed for bankruptcy. Shortly thereafter, Kavanaugh partnered, Kavanaugh's partner Joe Nicholas purchased back the company. Oh, this is all good. Nothing, nothing went wrong. In 2018, Kavanaugh sold Relativity to Ultra V Holdings, but remained a consultant with an incentive package that includes 10% equity and any value above $150 million. Today, Relativity continues to be a mini major studio. Listen to how he's tried to spin this shit. So nice. Such a nice ending to the story. This is great. So... There, at the top, there's a tab called Issues. Oh, uh, actually, really? Go to, tri to Contribution. By Ryan Kavanaugh. Yeah. <laughs> the, you, there's I just a user, this. Wait, there's a user named Ryan Kavanaugh who's editing yeah. this page. <laughs> and click that. <laughs> and go to that link. Dude, and nine hours ago. see what changes he did. Because I told you that there was bad stuff on here, but I didn't find them now. It's because he's fucking removing it all. <laughs> <laughs> you are such an idiot, dude. You're editing it under your own name, and you're so active. I can see you were on here eight hours ago, you loser. <laughs> here, let's see. He removed, and it's not Harvey Weinstein. Fair. That's true. As a co-founder, he spearheaded the acquisition of Triller. So he removed all this? Is that what it's saying? I don't know for sure, but that is what it looks like. Yeah, mm. if it's red, yeah. He removed this and added this. Ooh, juicy. If I don't say so myself, oh. I've got a lot to say about myself. <laughs> I've got a lot to add. This screenshot is my personal favorite. He added something very funny. He added here. <laughs> yeah, that that he's not. Oh, he added that. <laughs> Allegedly. No. Wait, you changed the color. Is no, that's on another tab. If you back up, it's this is in red. It says well, it's not. That, that means it was now removed. No, he removed it. He removed it. Yeah, no, no. But he, if you go go back to his profile. Yeah. He made this edit before. No, no shot. Yeah. He added it. Wait, let me just link it to you. <laughs> he added it, or he removed it. He, Unless it's he at the bottom. He added it before, though. Here, click that. Okay. Golden, goldenshower.com. <laughs> oh, see, this is a different account, dude. This is Calum Johnston. Yeah. Shout out to Calum Johnston. Yeah, shout out to Calum Johnston. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, Calum, <laughs> that's funny. But Ryan's in there cleaning up his own golden article. That's awesome. Oh, he's been... I love that he's in there. Why would you use your own name? Don't you understand? You're not supposed to edit your own fucking Wikipedia well, page. I, it does, it's clearly not, not. It, it's not Wikipedia. It's golden. They probably don't give a fuck. I bet what they do. What even is this? I'm sh I bet they do. They probably have some rules of conduct. Maybe we should report his account. Yeah, you shouldn't be working. <laughs> yeah, so I'm getting banned. <laughs> <laughs> but he shouldn't be editing his own page, I'm assuming. Could someone look up at the FAQ on Golden and tell All me? All right, if, let's look like at the terms there, of is service. There, <laughs> if there's rules of engagement for editors on this. Uh. <laughs> so he, let's see. He removed this. Oh, Ryan Kevin has been accused by his ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme. This co topic has been covered by Variety and is publicly available to read on this website. And he... he right. So he removed that. 
Mm -hmm. He also removed, over the years, there have been many people that have seen Harvey Weinstein on the street mistaken them for <laughs> Ryan Kavanaugh. <laughs> for this reason, a publicly funded website has been created uh, to tell the difference. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? He removed that. Hmm. Is it really his spot to be, to be editing his own page, you guys? Relativity Purchase Overture. I don't know why he removed that one. I love that he added all this fluff. There we go. Articles about yourself. Inaccuracies or obvious errors should be quickly fixed by anyone, including the subject of the biography. Okay. Additional concerns about tone, balance, or inclusion of specific information can be brought to the attention of support. Oh, well, we should probably... Who can help fix the material to align with Golden's policies. <laughs> Subjects huh. who have legal or serious concerns about material. So it seems like they're, they're, they're not as neutral yeah, as... as it doesn't sound like it. Although, I wonder if... You know, if somebody was to reach out to support at golden.co and just make them aware of the fact that right. Ryan Kavanaugh was heavily, heavily it, editing in a biased manner his own um, Well, it says page. additional concerns about tone, balance, or inclusion. Right. So, I mean, clearly there are some issues at hand about balance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just think it's a, it's just, how can you be balanced about yourself? Right, and I mean, I saw certain things in there uh, that were removed that didn't, I mean, seemed historically accurate, like the fact that Variety published an article about how his ex-partner accused him of running a That's Ponzi. That's not an inaccuracy. Right, like that did happen. The article was published. Right. The Ponzi scheme, I don't know. I mean, I, what the hell do I know about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Just saying the article was published. It, it, they made it public. Later issued a... A, a retraction. Uh, a retraction. Well, they didn't retract it. Uh, his partner retracted it. Right. And they updated the article. Correct. I don't know nothing about nobody. I got one eye. I don't see nothing. Okay, wait. Now, this is interesting here. This might be relevant to Golden's rules. It says, Do not use Golden for advertising SEO of your product. Well, he's not selling a product. We are happy for products, companies, and services to be mapped out on Golden. Company and product website should only be used on the topic page for the entity and not add to other com I mean, I, I feel like he's not breaking that rule, is he? Any compromising, any compromising of pages by over SEO stuffing will result in account ban. I feel like he doesn't do that, does he? I mean, I think the whole point of this is for SEO. I don't know, because he's not an actual product. But he said, if they don't say you can't, the product. they say you can't, I don't say you can't SEO. They just say you can't, like, stuff your shit into other articles. How do you interpret that, Love? You're the expert. Yeah, well, it seems to prevent people from promoting their own product. Is Ryan Kavanaugh a product? Probably not. No. I think it's just to prevent you from going to, like, Target page and being like, right. Target sells the Ryan Kavanaugh biography. I am not Harvey Weinstein. That's not a real book. Just a joke. So why did he remove that? Would yeah. that not... Make it make you believe the contrary. I don't or, know, because that was making making stuff clear. Now now I'm not sure anymore. I'm not sure about anything. It also has another yeah. uh, term of service about uh, neutral point of view. Hmm. Okay, well that's important. He's probably in violation of that, eh? Yeah. So he's opening issues about himself on his own page about neutrality. Yeah. That I find odd. Extremely odd. Yeah, that's fun. Shout out to Golden. <laughs> I love, bro. What is he doing? He's tweeting this shit out. Is this a SEO thing? Too long to read, but I imagine this one is kinder. If you really want to get under the foot soldier skin, you gotta get to the top of Wiki feet. <laughs> From deep, deep throat. throat. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's such a good name. <laughs> By the way, we haven't uh, thanked Throst, uh, or we haven't not thanked, because obviously, listen, he does what he does. But I will say, if you go to h3shop.com, we haven't talked about this I love Throst shirt <laughs> enough. 
And also, we haven't talked about Ryan going after you, love. Right. <laughs> what was? What's that shit? I don't know. The the other month, I guess, or I guess it's a month ago at this time, I woke up with a DM from Ryan Kavanaugh, first of all, on uh, LinkedIn. That was kind of ominous. I don't have a screenshot. What of did it. he say? He said, uh, nice to finally meet you. Like, he thinks you're thrust. Essentially, yeah, that's the Because that's what he said to the person in the Shrek forum. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice to finally meet you in the Shrek forum, and, and the message <laughs> honestly scared me a little bit. It sounded very, very scary. Because very ominous. Well, right? like, also stalkery. Oh, yeah, extremely stalkery. Hmm. Uh, like, no one knows my last name out there. I've, pers I've kept it secret for a reason. But somehow, Ryan Kavanaugh found it out. I have no clue how. Oh, really? Yeah. That is quite ominous. Right. And uh, if you want to talk about the website thing, too, you want to do that? Sure, yeah. Well, he sent a, correct me if I'm wrong, what, what I believe is a, like a copyright claim on the URL of the website. So he's claiming copyright for the, his name, essentially. I think like that does I, Harvey Weinstein look like Ryan Kavanaugh? Ryan Kavanaugh. The part, uh, that's what, how I understood it. I don't know for sure. Wait, Allegedly, is that not what they're suing us for? Is this a different thing? Well, he sent a complaint for the website domain. Yeah, that's what we're, we're doing. Yeah, the whole that one already. you already uh, talked about. On. No, we didn't talk about the complaint he sent to me. Cause Did you send that to the lawyers? Yeah. Okay, good. We're fighting a huge legal battle over the website, by the way. Now. Yeah. I'm spending tens of thousands of dollars to keep that website up. <laughs> hope you guys know. Yeah, and since I... I'm, oh, easily tens of thousands. Mm. Yeah, since, since I'm hosting the website, uh, I got involved in that pretty harsh. So he's sending, he's sending shit home to my parents. Oh, oh for real? Shit. Yeah. Because you're, it, it loves an agent of, of our company, obviously. So we're paying yeah. all the legal fees and right. stuff. But his name is, was on the registration of the <laughs> website. Right. So wait, he's, what are your parents getting? Like, uh, just notices of uh, legal actions against the website and shit like that. Oh my god. <laughs> and, uh, like, like, 30 pages of uh, uh, evidence uh, towards me and my social, with, with screenshots of my social media shit. That's in my, the complaint that we're dealing yeah, and my that Twitter we're and my Instagram and, uh, like, screen caps of my face and super weird shit. Dude, he did deep ops on you. Yeah, and, uh, like, he, he, he's sharing... All my stuff online is on a 40-page document that he sent home to me. He's trying to scare you. Yeah, essentially, yeah. It's pretty funny. I wonder if we could put it on the website. The whole oh, you don't want all that stuff out there. Yeah, yeah I don't want to leak my, sh my shit, you know. <laughs> Ryan does. He, he even, yeah, he found everything I have. He's probably paid a lot of money for someone to like do crazy... Ops on you. I think we have a redacted version of the whole thing somewhere. We prepared something, but I'm not sure where if we have that ready. It's a while back, yeah. Yeah. Pretty crazy, right? This guy's an absolute psycho. Maniac. It's just a silly website, Ryan. Yep. It's a public service, man. Why you gotta try to like scare my dude? <clears throat> yeah. I asked if we could like do anything about it, but I guess not. It's just I'm not too worried about it personally. I know I know I got the support and everything, so well, if he's going to kill sure. anyone, it would be me. Don't worry. Right. <laughs> I just think it's funny. <laughs> I think it's insane. Oh, and he followed me on Twitter, too, so I can reply to all his stuff. Oh, he followed me. you? Yeah. You oh. should DM him. What's up? No, don't. Don't. Well, I, res <laughs> I responded to him on LinkedIn. Um, what did you say? Just ask, I asked how, what I could help him with. What can I help you with? Yeah. Yo, is your dick mangled like Harvey's? And so... Did he respond to you? No. He's Did it show red? No, he hasn't read it. I don't think he uses LinkedIn that often. So he's just trying to scare you? Oh, for sure. He's like, yeah. I know who you are, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he sent me that threatening DM on Instagram. Yeah, I mean, these are some fucking gross tactics that if we were like nobodies, for example, if... if uh, you know, if we were nobodies, we had no that resources, us, no dude. lawyers. That would have scared me if I had no resources. Absolutely, yeah. Well, it does, and it works for him. Yeah, it's it probably worked for him for a long time up until now. Oh, here, here's the copy of it. This is so oh, cool. creepy. His LinkedIn message said, "Hi, love. Nice to finally meet." In parentheses, find you. Right. Wow. 
What Some a scary fucking shit right there. creep. Yeah, I mean, he's a big time Hollywood producer. He's used to intimidating and silencing people. It's kind of part of their job at this point. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, guess what, Ryan? Eat my dick. It's not going to work. <laughs> I will never back down from you, ever. <laughs> oh, the intimidation tactics won't work. I thought you said your dick doesn't work. I said my <laughs> dick doesn't work? You said suck my dick. I said Try eat my dick. Right, it doesn't work. I said I'll never back down from you, ever. So eat my dick. It doesn't work. You proved it. Interesting. <laughs> By anyway. the way, Sea Change is the company he's merging with, or they're trying to merge with. I don't know if there's any news with that. I don't think I've seen. But Sea Change is, is uh, trying to merge with them or whatever, right? Yeah, they're crushing it, bro. Reverse mer merger. There was a huge spike when they announced it, and uh, they're back down in the shitter. Damn. Yeah, down to a dollar per share, guys. Should it? Should have shorted them. I knew better. It's still time. <laughs> there's still there's it's still places time. to drop. I, I'm telling you, Go short on. short triller. You know, what the fuck is all this, Cam? Cam, you have a job to do. Tweeting during the show, bad boy. Hashtag bad boy. What the hell, dude? Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Anyway, I love throws. Shout outs to uh, the the Cav Cav. He's still crushing it. Shout out to Brad the Bull, who's giving it to his wife. Good enough where <laughs> she still, you know, lets him see the kids. So that's nice. <laughs> All right, I gotta eat some pizza, you guys. For Thanks sure. for watching. See you on Wednesday. See you then. Peace out.